sure that they're they have thin blood. Their blood doesn't coagulate. <laughs> a tea, a tea. That's my favorite part of that movie. Don't tell me that's your fucking favorite. That's why your auntie doesn't love you. I don't give a fuck about that shit. <laughs> but damn. You broke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that boy auntie can be broke. That boy auntie can compensate me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's outside. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's really raining. Yes, sir. Oh, what the fuck? Jay, my I'm windows. Nah. Your windows is cracked too. Mm-hmm. You the one with the you, you got a license plate in the front, but you ain't got a license plate in it. It's raining. It's pouring. The bad hoes is snoring. Right, if my shit fucked up, cause I've been going this nigga thinking he drinking. Quincy, tight, what's going on, y'all? Hey, po the hell oop. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, we got some bangers of topics for y'all today. I need y'all in on it. Bruh. You think we'll be... <laughs> that was big enough. Is it about the bag? It's about the bag. At that point, how's it go playing too? It's about the bag. That was legitness. It's about the bag. Smoke weed every day. at this moment that he knew he oh, fucked up man. a bag's a bag <laughs> the buddy is green bitch you go lose the shut up bitch so yeah your contracts big <laughs> Welcome to the Drink the Kool-Aid podcast. It is your boy, the Kool-Aid man, Archie Red, doing the damn thing up in here. And not only are we just some talking heads up in this bitch, but we got... That was to you, nigga. You just gonna fuck up the past? Yeah. There we go. And we got... Trill Taliban, a.k.a. Ankles. We got your boy over here. Sweet meat. I'm just a head. The sweetest of them all. <laughs> this guy here, man, my fucking pants ain't doing what the fuck they were supposed to do. None of that shit. Man, fuck it. Anyway, y'all, hey, appreciate y'all for sipping with us. We we trying to get some shit set up for y'all where we, uh, you know what I'm saying, while we sitting here shooting the shit, talking the shit or whatever like that, we could have uh, a camera right here where we located it to give y'all a view of that because we were going to run Cheech and Chongopoly uh tonight but uh yeah we got some things coming in the works and we definitely gonna have that for y'all soon 
But y'all already know what fucking time it is. I know a lot of y'all probably already done got started on y'all's cooking and getting shit ready. So, uh, I'm, and I'm pretty sure y'all been saying happy Thanksgiving and all that shit all week. Well, guess what? Let me tell you something. You've been saying it wrong. Yes, you've been saying it wrong because it ain't happy Thanksgiving. It's cool things sipping. That, that, that is the way. That is the way. So The only way is the cool, cool gun. Thanks, cool sipping, cool thanks sipping. Either way, the feather serpent god. Bow! Thank you. We have books. Completely said we Thank have you books. For my win. We have books. I don't know what the fuck that had to do with anything, but it fucking rolled. Um. Damn, bro. You just threw the whole thing off. Like, I'm trying to figure out how the fuck am I about to bounce back? When I said, oh, I know how. I know how to do it. Here we go. We got Titan coming through with a motherfucking share. And really, actually, that, I see a like right there. That ain't no share. That's really us with the shares. So, Sibbles, if y'all ain't hit that fucking share button, then I'm going to need y'all to oh, tap that. He said, last week, Friday, I became a father. We adopted a baby girl. Wait, what? That's that's what he said. That po' baby. That po' baby. <laughs> Yo. That po' baby. That po' child. Nah, I'm playing with you, bro. I'm just I'm just bullshitting. Nah, Quincy, for real, though. That's that's great fucking news, bro. Uh, A kid I, kid or animal kid? Nah, I think he for real. Like, uh, me, myself, bro, I done went through the adoption process, you know what I'm saying, a few times. So I can, I definitely rock with that. That's a good-ass fucking service you doing, my man. So for real, props to you and your girl for making that happen, man. Uh, real deal. I know that's a tedious ass process that you gotta go through to get that shit done. But um, hey, bro, like that—that's good. That's good shit for real, for oh, real. That's good shit. That's real shit, my boy. What flow you hit? Not, oh, I'm, I'm sitting. I'm just looking at the glasses, cause. Oh yeah, that's what? how. That's how I don't lose my glasses on my pen. Oh, but damn, you ain't even gonna be able to see those. I know. Oh, what glasses? Well, kinda, sorta. Now you look like you just put the little Robin thing over your shit. Hey, I am Batman. Da, 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 da. <laughs> that shit is kind of, that, that shit is a fucking eye trip, for real, for real. Oh, really? Yeah, that's just Batman things on. Okay, no, oh, yo, I got some real life motherfucking stories, bro, to jump this bitch off, fam. Uh -oh. Like, for real, for Let's real. Set you off in traffic. That, that, well, it, traffic has to do with one of them. Keep hoeing up. Goddamn. Oh. Uh, so. I'm at work, right? And tell me why a hobo sets up shop in the restroom. Uh, what you mean, sets in the restroom? Like, he like, down. like, man. Okay, now it's two of them. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? Hobo, they like to run like in packs and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Hairs. And so, you know what I'm saying? You got your dude hobo, then you got your female hobo. Uh, the female goes into the restroom. And I go in. 8.30 in the morning. I'm not really thinking shit. You know. Okay, I didn't know if that was thunder or a loud-ass fart, but I was about to start roasting. <laughs> um, throughout my shit, bro, I'm noticing that the dude hobo keeps going, like, to the restroom. And at first, I had stopped him because I'm thinking he's trying to go into the female restroom. But then this motherfucker stops and starts talking at the fucking door. And I'm like, is this motherfucker on that shit? Like, am I about to beat his ass or throw him? Like, what the fuck is about to go on? Well, he wasn't talking just to the door. He was talking to the bitch on the other side. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Woman. Yeah, whatever. Oh, uh, that know nah, fuck that. Nah, fuck that. Take it, taking up, taking up space. You know what I'm saying? Fucking with the dollars. They wasn't spending no money. Right. Fuck them. That bitch was in there taking up space. So, uh, <laughs> she, this mother, bro, throughout the whole time, this motherfucker's making multiple trips, trying to get this chick to come out the fucking restroom, and she won't do it. At one point, this motherfucker come in there. Wait, can I see your bike to just, can I see your bike for a while since you just held up <laughs> Like the male dude was about to be like, hey, I'm gonna just take this bike and I'm about to just start busting moves and shit since your ass wanna stay held up in this restroom all day. She say no, being stubborn for a while. I don't know how he talked up to her. He probably slid or something because I did see the door open for a while. So, you know what I'm saying? He probably like paid out, I don't know. But, um, yeah, the nigga ended up getting the bike. you like I'm nosy. On the way out, I noticed that this motherfucker was like, hey, just meet me at the smoke shop. Now, any regular person hearing that, oh, he's just going to meet me at the vape shop. Hell no. 
Nigga, my I went full instant hood mode. That nigga said the smoke shop. These motherfuckers on that ish ish. That you know what I'm saying? Cause just, bro, it was just weird. Gas pipe. <laughs> bro, you should have saw my face when I thought Good. dude was just sitting there yelling, talking at the fucking door. Like, bro, that shit set me the fuck up because my department is right there. You know how I shit set up. He's right fucking there, fam. So every time he go back to this door, I'm having to hear that shit. I'm stocking juices. I'm having to hear this nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's cold than a bitch outside and inside. So I'm stocking shit from the fucking front. Fuck what they talking about. Stocking yogurts and half and halves. I'm having to hear this nigga, man. I hear this nigga when I'm doing eggs and shit. No, we got problems. And then I just look up and the motherfucker's gone. I don't know what happened with that shit. Then, on my way to the fucking house. Wait, there's more. And then there's more. So, hey, first of all, are y'all able to, are y'all, are simples, are y'all able to hear us okay? Are y'all able to hear us okay? I need cups up, all that good shit. If y'all able to hear us okay. Yeah, bro. <laughs> y'all ain't said hey to us today. What's good? Y'all, yeah. y'all eating and shit already? Like, what the bro? fuck? Y'all supposed to be cooking and shit, not eating already. Y'all better fucking talk to us, damn it. Hey, with, hey, our sip is in here rocking. Hey, we need likes and shares and cups up and talking and shit. We need to hit this shit. We don't, we don't, hey, it's too early to have the itis. It's too early to have the itis. We got motherfucking Taliban passing around fingers and shit. Fine. You know what I'm saying? Y'all better pull the fuck up. Is it me or I can't like find that. the light? They got that cheap light, peep in uh, there, control. Man. Well, that keep peep in there. Like real deal? Like how to keep is that what that shit was? I'm sprinkling on top of that yeah, bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so. Where's the control? Oh, well. <laughs> Anybody else got a funny real life story? Five minutes later, my stomach's gonna be like, what, Barrio? Hold on, because I'm about to. Oh, shit, okay. You said what now? Hold on, hold on. No, I was about to ask a question. No, I was about to ask, but then I was just trying to do that to kill time while I was indulging and shit. <laughs> they gotta kill the thoughts while I'm talking. But, uh, yeah, hold on. Let me just drink a nice tall glass and shut the fuck up real quick. Hold on. Okay. Man, I hope y'all have a good Thanksgiving. Enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? The family while you can. Yeah. I'm about to leave here and go home and go cook. I'm ready for some pies. I ain't even gonna count. I got Ooh, a Christmas talking album. about pie. We got oh. a Christmas album coming. I don't like cream pies. Bro. Shit about to be live, but we gonna get to that too. We gonna get the both of those. We gonna get to like the pies, pies and we gonna get to that motherfucking Christmas album. Oh shit. Real shit. Real shit. Now, pull up. Y'all let these motherfuckers know, man. Shit. Yeah, you said yes, yes, year round. I don't even you know need no turkey bacon. Oh, right, y'all, I see you in here. Bro. I got the shortcut. Hey, you better be I'll on. I'll inject it myself. You, you better be on them deviled eggs. That's your job. That's a like word. You shirt. know that's your hey. job. You better be on them deviled eggs or I'm on that ass tomorrow. Rachel, I'm going to be there bright and early. I'm going to try to find some rolls. The only thing this motherfucker worried about, why the fuck are these wrestling emojis fucking going off? I went through a church to shit off shrimp. Because listen here, brother. Sometimes when you're trying oh, to make it yeah. to the tip top of the mountain of the WW Wrestling Federation, it's just going to come through. I know you may think you can stop it, but you can't stop it, brother. We're coming all the way. Every time I hear him talk like that. Hulk Hogan! I'm coming for you, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said, oh, God. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. The next thing I think about that is Booker T. <laughs> Booker T said the exact that's, same no, that's thing. What that's, why he, that's why he said that. No, he said. Macho Man said it too. No, every time I do that, he thinks it's a Booker T thing. Oh, well. Yeah, I got the little alert thing that go off for that bitch and everything. It's at this moment. But now, so I'm on my way home, y'all. Camera makes the home. And this motherfucker driving up, he honks his horn and he flagging me <laughs> down and shit. So me driving and me and my road rage ass and shit like that, I got a little bit immature. So I hit the window down like, what the fuck is up? You know what I'm saying? Like, I think this motherfucker trying to make this shit. So I'm just about to pull over and whoop ass real quick. And I ain't got to a fight in a minute. And I've been wanting to whoop some ass and shit. So I'm thinking, here's my time to shine. Archie, Archie, and shit. Right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got the right nigga today. Bruh. <laughs> Man, I feel like a whole hodo. You know what's crazy? This, what's up? I wonder if they can take you serious because all they see is your head just going and hanging <laughs> for what this is. This motherfucker! <laughs> they don't see nothing else but your head just. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> 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 so, y'all tell me if that shit come across as much as I thought it would. Okay. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, no, I feel like a whole bitch ass nigga, first off. 
Because when I rolled the window, that first off, let me just say, the motherfucker was trying to help me. Okay? The motherfucker was flagging me down trying to help me. Talking about, hey, your bumper in the front. Now, yes, I knew my bumper was kind of like coming out a bit and shit. And it was annoying me. Like, I knew that, but he didn't know that. So he was looking out for me and shit. Talking about, hey, I can fix that or whatever like that. Talking about, he can do shit up. So I'm about to pull over and get the, you know what I'm saying, get the number or whatever like that. And keep sure, nigga, I stopped, nigga. I stopped the street. Nigga, I got to the far right lane. I hit the hazards. Boop. Got the whole thing backed up. Nah, nigga hopped out. Well, I mean, first off, I, I wasn't, I didn't just, that wasn't the whole ass nigga part that I did, you know what I'm saying? Because I did like move out the way and let everybody keep going and shit once I realized I was in the street holding shit up because I didn't want to be that <laughs> guy, you know? So, uh, I do that. I pull over, bro. This motherfucker talking about he could fix my bumper right then and there. And I'm telling him, like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Because this motherfucker quoted me $300 and shit. I'm like, hey, nigga, uh, my motherfucking daughter. Uh, birthday just happened, Thanksgiving, Christmas and shit. Nigga, I ain't got three hundred dollars. Like, I'm not hell not. Nah. So I low bob the shit out of his ass. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, on the way to the crib, got my motherfucking bumper fixed. My shit ain't fucking hagging, and tagging, and swagging no more. Hell nah, that bitch is back up to the point that now that now that that bitch is back up, I think I am just gonna refinance this bitch. You know what I'm saying? And just keep this hoe and fix the shit that that bitch fucked up. Yes, you know sir. What I'm saying? And say fuck get a new motherfucking car because I don't want those sons of bitches to run my motherfucking credit again. God damn it, leave my shit alone. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, if you adulting, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh. Uh, damn. You pass me the World Cup, nigga. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm over here got a whole campsite up babysitting. This Meanwhile. That's now, pull up on this Judge Judy. Okay. I love Judge Judy. Judge Judy. Probably that bitch still on there. Oh, and, God. and Justin Bieber. Does she make 20 mil a year? Hmm? Does she make 20 mil a year? God. Yeah. Pulling in 20 mil a year, bro. You would How have. How much I think that bailiff's making? Just stand there. No <laughs> you would have no idea why Judge Judy and Justin Bieber are in, not headlines, but they are in the story <laughs> together. <laughs> Long before Justin Bieber would turn to religion. And married Haley Bieber, the singer experienced a rather difficult period in his life. If you all know when Justin Bieber was on his delinquent, <coughs> he's trying to smoke cigarettes with his friends time uh, period. Yeah, I'm Around that time, J- man, Justin was, uh, don't they care about what he was arrested for. He was also neighbors with Judge Judy. At the same time. <coughs> and apparently, according to all the neighbors in the little neighborhood, that nigga was petrified of her ass. He is not trying to see Judge Judy across the way. This nigga high as hell. Hell no. Nah. He see Judge. He... Justin Bieber, you a real nigga. <laughs> hey, Judge Judy. You get real. your ass yeah, back in the crib. Hey, yeah. That nigga ain't trying to deal with none of that shit. <laughs> You know, you know, you know. Back in the day, when growing up, when not just your parents could whoop your Why ass. Why'd you be scared? Well, I'm speaking, look, the TV personality recounted how she was living in the house near Justin's LA home, and by that time, he had already built up a reputation for being quite the disturbing neighbor. In fact, Team USA, you got me fucked up. She was like, he's scared to death of me. There was a period of time before <coughs> he grew up when he was foolish and doing foolish things. Um, Go to the other side. I understood that he was playing paying the front door people to let them know when I was there coming and going so he wouldn't have to bump into me. That nigga paying his people like, hey, bro, if Judge Judy is out there, you better not let me walk outside. I am not trying to look at her, smell like weed. She gonna be like, what's that strange smell, Justin? California. And? What's that strange smell, Justin? Nigga, if a judge asks you that question, nigga, it don't matter if it's legal or not, nigga, you tripping. Well, if I got enough money and I live next door to a judge, oh, nigga, we having a cook ass. I'm at your door. He's saying, all right, you talking about I need you in my back pocket. Cedric, no, 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 no. Said it's not like that, bro. It's not like that, bro. Trust me, the butt plug thing ain't like that, bro. Stay sipping. Trust me. Stay sipping. Uh, He's like, I'm out. Nah, yeah, bro. I promise you ain't nobody. Yeah, no. I fuck with saying, bro. That, that motherfucker be wildin', bro. That motherfucker is hilarious. Hey, man. Oh no! It took two uh, years. You, you babysitting? Nice, I ain't babysitting. It was going out, boy. Damn! Oh, I hate smoking with old niggas. Just go with the flu, man. Nah, this nigga babysitting, man. 
I be forgetting, bitch. We talk for a living. And we Shit. Old, and we old niggas, and he forget. Hey, what's up? What's up with that uh that Netflix series though? Okay. I just wanted to get you guys. Attention. Oh, sippers, and make sure y'all are pulling up y'all's topic request as well, so we can get to the shit that y'all want to talk about. Matter of fact, after this topic, right before we get to what the fuck are people doing, we gonna get to some of y'all shit that y'all want to talk about. So pull up, but make sure y'all's asses stay around if y'all want us to get y'all shit, cause we will do a roll call before we ask your motherfucking question. Pull up, bro. A new Netflix series can be watched in any order, and it will give a completely different viewpoint on the story. So it can be watched in any order, and it's going to change the way people see it. They say it's a non-linear anthology series that centers on <coughs> heist and has eight episodes, each named after a color, such as pink, white, yellow, and green. Kaleidoscope pen spans 25 years and follows a team of masterful thieves who attempt to break into a seemingly unbreakable vault to get their hands on what could be the biggest, biggest criminal payday in history. Pull up, Angie. This seems like... An interesting take on a series. I will give Netflix this. As much as they, you know what I'm saying, like they love canceling shit, and we get on their ass. I will <laughs> give them. I will give them props for the innovative, changing the game shit that they've done in the streaming world. With the being able to go and like actually play games while you watch. You know what I'm saying? Like on that Black Mirror episode where you can like affect the episode oh, and shit. Yeah, the yeah, New yeah, Day yeah. got the Undertaker thing going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Netflix has really changed the game. Period. Like Blockbuster came in, changed the game, but they were just doing what everybody else did at just a better price. You know what I'm saying? And you had all your treats, blah, 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 blah. Netflix came in, changed the game, and then they've kept changing the game. While they've Agreed. been in there. Yeah. I agree. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, that... that and they charge your orbit and legs up, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, and guess what? With the that, price, with that price about to go up again like a bitch. Watch. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. a year, price about to go up again. <coughs> Motherfuckers! So, they, they crack it down next next month. Mm -hmm. Or, no, two months from now, they crack it down. Yeah, so yeah. next year, that Pasco share, somebody else got it, and the manic... Oh, yeah. That's dope. That doesn't make sense. Because how do you know whether I didn't just log in over here while on a different device. I'm on vacation. I just logged in over here. How do you know? You see what I'm saying? That that doesn't does really. Nah, they just they just gonna be going. I mean, it's just gonna be monitoring devices at the same time. Um, type. <coughs> That's but yeah, I think that was. Good. <coughs> Let me see if I have to use. Uh, All right. So with that being said, right there, let me get to these zippers real quick. See if they'll pull up anything fucked in. Bro, he was hanging for a bit. 
But as soon as that motherfucker thought he was gone, oh hell no. Ugh. You got your ass with my old man yeah, Kool Aid. Like you know, but she don't brown dessert at though, cause yeah, they yeah. made him look cool in the uh, one with Oprah and shit. Can... But then that nigga started making all them crazy ass <laughs> demands and shit. <laughs> Motherfuckers want bidets and shit. Like certain kinds, certain generations and shit. Making motherfuckers redo the restaurant. That motherfucker canceled this shit. And as soon as he canceled his services and opened the door and saw their ass, it's like, nah, they ass back out. If they like the kids from recess, nigga, that's gonna be a good day. You got me fucked up. I'm fucking them little niggas up. Oh, hell. A hundred of them little niggas. You see them big ass 10 year olds, man? They're gonna fade your ass. Don't turn to John Wick, nigga. From recess, you go Batman Arkham series, nigga. I'm a uh, 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 throw their ass across the room. Bro, and shit. bro, I'm about to kill all that. The Ashleys built a underground clubhouse and dungeon on the playground. That's just the Ashleys, bro. We ain't brought in Hustle Man. We ain't brought in the two twins who dig. We ain't even got to the crew with LaSalle, Mikey, fucking Spinelli. Bro, Spinelli, Spinelli, final boss. Spinelli is final boss. The two big purple twins off of fucking family, uh, the proud family. You see, they gonna spank his ass. See, what? now you crossing genres and shit. You doing too much. Oh, hell yeah. They still now, you getting all money. the bad ass. This Mr. Go sneak in. This yeah. Mr. Go sneak in with an elbow and shit. I'm telling you. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, nigga, recess was my shit, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I don't think, bro, I don't think you, you coming out of that with the... You want to know what's the first thing I watched when Disney Plus came out? Recess? School's out. The fucking the summer movie. The oh, I, I started going through the seasons. Nigga, I just straight went back to that movie, bro. That movie's still so hard. You don't aim, just throw it. That, was, like, that shit on that hard. They, they fight, and it worked. They fight ninjas and shit. Like, nigga, where the fuck did the ninjas come from? You got my guy that's in all the fucking animated movies from back in the day being the villain and shit. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> that shit hard. My right. boy Victor with the like and shit. They trying to fuck the oh, world. Wow. VJ. Hey, BJ and Porsche pulled up with him too. Oh man, just everything. Man. Okay. Oh, look. Oh, look. Say it's giving time, so Otis gotta go up in there. Otis Ooh. gotta be up in there. Porsche. How up? Porsche say we can't talk shit because she going to her, uh, what, you say your sisters or your aunties for fucking Thanksgiving? No, her baby daddy. So she ain't making shit. Nah, she only so in charge of the dessert. Yeah, so she ain't fucking nothing up this year, so nah, we can't the, talk shit. The thing, that she, the thing that she put raisins and stuff in is supposed to go that she gonna be baking and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pies, cakes, custards and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit like that. You know. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, hold on. Okay. Uh, so we got the Tyco uh, now, and uh, Titan says Thanksgiving do's and don'ts. We gonna pull up on that one when we cool things sipping. So Titan, we gonna get back to that one. Uh, Crystal says best Thanksgiving dish. We gonna pull up on that one when we cool things sipping. So I don't see nothing else hold up right now. So we gonna keep it going, y'all. Pull up anything topic wise, questions y'all have for us in that prompt in that section. Even if y'all done dropped one Jezreel. before, you know what saying? There ain't no limit on there, so y'all can drop. Multiple questions and shit. Pull them things up. Sabino, appreciate that. Hey, welcome back. Sabino back in this day? Pull up then. Welcome back, Simper. I love, I love when we get new Simper. Pull back up with us. I love new Simpers when we coming back up in here. Y'all, where them cups at? Where are our cups at? Who this on? Nice. But damn. All right, now. What the fuck are people doing, bro? All right, so check it. Mike, uh, check one, two. I'm I thinking of a song every time I hear that. Is. <laughs> I, got I think it's Red Man and Method Man. Method Man. Right. Check it. I give it to you raw but naked. <laughs> uh, this chick got caught trying to go to the fucking airport with a butt plug <laughs> that had her boyfriend's ashes in the butt plug. Wait. Wait, what? I don't hate that whole thing again. You say what? Chick. I got you, I got you, I got you. No, Wom Woman found in airport. <coughs> woman, <coughs> woman stopped in airport carrying butt plug. Butt plug contained no, in, in her butt. I, butt plug contained ashes of her uh, deceased ex-boyfriend. And where was she? Hiding it in his favorite place. The butt plug was in the place that it was designed to go. The sphincter. It was inside the sphincter. It, it plugged the butt. And as, as, as where she was going, like, no drugs were allowed, so it was very known for, so did they for pull... people smuggling shit. All right, all right, quick question, quick question. So, TSA pulled it out her ass? And did they feel bad? And did they open it to check the ashes? Probably. Did they, but I'm saying, how you, do you feel bad after that? Like, man, say, no, nah, okay. No, you I, know what I think about I now? You had to pull it out of ass, but then. 
you know what? We just have to put that, that out afterwards. There, man. I'm gonna say that's my next question. Did they put it back? I think if he did, I think if he did it violently, I think I hear that guy. How can she slap? How can she slap? <laughs> I know what you're talking about. <laughs> how can she slap? How can she slap? No, how can she slap? They, they start, she start shat his ass too. Bro, he slapped the fuck <laughs> ass back. And then they start grabbing him and shit. He's like, oh, wait, how can she slap? How can she slap? That shit was funny in the bitch. Bro, did you see that one when that motherfucker just sit there and it? And he come with that fucking plunger and just punch that bitch to that motherfucker's head. Oh, God. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Give it what she was at the we just start going off, bro. And then they go and they try to pull that bitch off. And they pull the stick off. And then the motherfucker just smack that off. Yo. See, this, this is the point where we wish we could insert the video that we talking about. Because shit. You know what? While y'all bullshitting, y'all keep talking. I'm going to go find this. Oh, y'all got me fucked up. Y'all got me fucked up. I'm about to find this bitch. Oh, shit. My wife's Buffalo. baking already. What? My wife's baking. I heard something else. I was like, I fam, we on the podcast. <laughs> I thought you was like, my already. wife's naked already. I was like, fam, we on the pod, bro. Like, uh, I heard naked, too. <laughs> that's that's like, something you keep to yourself, kid, folks. And why are they naked already? Man, they need to finish up. I mean, if she was, I wouldn't be throwing you down. Nah, you was just saying it. He was like, man, fuck, we need to wrap this pod up. Like, man, we just started, but I feel you. <laughs> I would completely understand that you need to leave right now. Because <laughs> I would want to dip, too. <laughs> Chuck Norris. Chucky e. Norris. <laughs> oh, shit. I would be scared. Bro, you know what's crazy? I would actually buy one of those. That's, I, don't, I see them. They would probably put that in the motherfucking series. I, <laughs> I see them putting that in the Chucky series, bro. If they made, it's a Chuck, Chuck Norris got his own dog. It's a Chucky Norris dog, bro. They, I can see them putting that hoe in the shit. It was Chuck Norris. <laughs> Sippers, what y'all doing right now and what y'all cooking? I know y'all cooking and doing something, so tell me. What's y'all cooking right now? R.I.P. the Everything. Green Power Ranger, yo. It's cool Thanksgiving sipping. Yes. And not nah, for real. What's his name? Check on your people. Tommy. Jason, Jason, Jason David, David Perry. Perry. No. Let's say that. <laughs> I'm thinking of his name on the TV. Let's say that purely. <laughs> Niggas. Long live to Jason's, Jason David Franco. Stop laughing. That's going to sound so unserious. Franco serious. is a Frank. Okay. I have a few. Okay, wait. A couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> Not real talk. Long yeah. lives to James hey. David Frank. That suicide shit. Because bro, man. check on your people, man. That your people, man, so. we ain't even got to dwell on the sad. That dude was the realest motherfucking Power Ranger we ever fucking had. If you can say you didn't watch that shit and you ain't fuck with bro, you're lying. He was everybody's favorite. That, uh, that whole uh, drive, no matter what niggas series said, he was. We don't give a fuck if that bitch ass nigga the leader. Let me, Hell no, nah, you got your ass whooped. Let me that nigga changed colors and he was the leader. Bro. This, this nigga, nigga worked. Blowing on sticks in bro, the this nigga worked hard, yard. bro. This nigga was on 250 episodes across eight different seasons. I mean, series. Not including movies and shit, bro. That nigga worked hard. Not including what he did live, you know what I'm saying? Like going places and like make a wish foundation, different shit like that. Like, bro, that nigga's an icon, bro. And we lost Batman at the same time. Why the fuck everybody in my shit gotta go? What's this like? So y'all was just jamming to the so, music, huh? So y'all didn't hear shit over We here. over here having a whole conversation. And y'all ass what makes me suspicious. <laughs> El Tucci. Are we good now? Say the mic. Yeah, so, 
So we just had this whole conversation. Y'all ain't hear none of that shit. What was the last thing y'all heard? Somebody tell me. Well, I mean, Portia obviously heard. He called him Tommy. What was your question about potato salad, Rachel? I did not see it. Mm, no raisins in that motherfucker. Hell no. You better not put no... I don't want no raisins in no shit. No raisins in the potato salad. No celery in the potato salad. No onions. Yeah, Wait. Y'all like my lineup? I did What? What? No onion in the potato salad? I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't like eggs in my shit. No onions and stuff. I mean, bro, if you put onions in there, hell, it gotta be stupid dice to where you can't even feel the crunch in that bitch. Nah. Yeah, no eggs. No eggs in the potato salad. Thank you. I just said that. Hell yeah, no eggs. I don't like that shit. Unless, what? Uh, unless they like super smack. Well, nah, nah, what the, the fuck, fuck is wrong with you guys? No, 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 no
five minute clip of this shit. Nigga, they gonna be a type of shit we be on. I'm gonna put a QR code under this building, nigga. They gonna have to go find that, and I'm gonna pop out another hologram. It seems you found my second QR code. Now, if you look over on yonder on the pond and you don't find love yet, when the trees fall and the train runs, you will find the next clue. Nigga, I'm gonna do all that shit. Niggas gonna be going across the world looking, and then. The final thing, they gonna dig it up and shit. That bitch gonna be like, yo dumb ass wasted all that time <laughs> looking for some shit. You think, nigga, I'm broke. Think, I'm, and I'm gonna just, and I'm gonna have a fly on QR. The first place I sent you to was my apartment. Then I'm gonna have a motherfucking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 yo dumb I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have, have, <laughs> I'm gonna have a hologram of, I mean, hologram of me reenacting that scene of Bad Wap from uh, What's Called from Lottery Ticket. I'm broke. I ain't got no money, and you could have changed it all, but you wanted to go on a scavenger hunt, dumbass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that shit gonna be sick. Like, I don't know. Oh, bro. That shit oh, shit, we are floating heads. <laughs> all of that shit I just said is so much funnier. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, Hey, I got that in my uh in my phone for whenever like I do a certain thing. DJ, hold up! Nah, that's great. <laughs> With that motherfucking life. Where you at though? Hey, make sure y'all hit those like shares and all that good shit. Hey, it's the four brothers. Boy, that movie hard. You know what I'm talking hard. about? But Why is he so green? That's what I was trying. That's the hair, dog. It's the reflection. Boy, you know, so now we have, but now you know what? Me and him actually get passes because we got that shit in our bloodline, so they can't tell us shit. Okay, the other side. You can't tell me what my bloodline is. So, yeah. Yeah, you can be whatever the fuck you want to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, and they gonna say something, Mexican. Ah, you racist too, bitch. Uh, I ain't even why you the I go completely elsewhere on your bitch ass. What's up, bitch? Okay, nah, okay, nah, but here we are, though. We here now, though. We here now, though. That's where it really counts. Oh, bitch, I'm gonna lose like a motherfucker. I wear no sandals. Now we cool, now we cool, thanks, Simba. Now we cool, thanks, Simba. Before we get into this, y'all, let's hit the ones that the Simpas brought up, because the Simpas did bring us two cool, thanks, Simpas topics. Jump this bitch out. Yeah, man. So, <laughs> Titan pulled up with Thanksgiving do's and don'ts. <laughs> Let's go with do's Boy. first. All What's right. a must on Thanksgiving? Come uh, if you come in be somebody's on house. Time, bro. Don't, don't be on time, bro. Ain't nothing on, on time on, on Thanksgiving. Don't be on. You know what I'm saying? Our time, goddamn. When I say I'm be there in 15 minutes, I'll be there in about 45. I just leave it the crib. No, do oh no, he right. But what you do? You just leave it the crib. Ain't this even is ready how yet. you prevent that. Whatever <laughs> time screen, you want to have your you Thanksgiving, whatever time you want to eat, you tell people to be there three hours before. So if you want to eat at twelve, Still gonna be fucking late. You tell them, hey, look, food gonna be ready at nine. They gonna look at you nine. Yeah, motherfucker, nine. That way they are getting prepared and getting ready to be there. And once they there, they ain't gonna waste gas and go so and shit like that. Cause they, they there. disrespect when they there already. So now everybody there. And there's something there they want. At an appropriate time. Yes, we are eating dinner at nine o'clock in the morning because we know in reality that really means about four or five. So <laughs> if you say, oh, everybody be here at two, you fucked up. You fucked up because you're, you're not eating till eight. You're not eating till 8, 9, 10, 11 o'clock. And now everybody here is midnight. People got to work in the morning. Fuck it. Baby, it's okay. I got covers in the car. Now everybody fucked up and you got to sleep together. No. You ain't want to do all that. Tell people. Now, not these new age niggas. Niggas, niggas going to fuck around, come get their place and then deal. You know what I mean? Portia talking about you got to like compliment the yourself. I don't know about that one. Mahil, what's going on, bro? What's going on, Mahil? Crypto Chris with that like as well. I see you pulled up, bro. Thanksgiving is the time to be brutally fucking honest. You know what I'm saying? If your gravy not hitting, it's not hitting. Don't give me no shit. All right, look, I want to talk about eggs. What is you talking about? Don't put no fucking eggs in my gravy. What are you tripping? I don't give a fuck. I will fight everybody that like no Ghibli gravy. I will just You could have that Ghibli gravy. I don't give a fuck. Don't put no fucking eggs in my gravy, bro. You can put the. You can put the gizzards. You can put everything else. Like eggs and gravy. You can put. You can put. You can put the gizzards. But I can't do the eggs. You can put the gizzards. You can put everything else in that bitch. But if you put 
put it. eggs in my gravy, like I said, it's a texture. The only way I would get out of pan is if you putting that over mashed potatoes. That's the only way, and it better be brown. And it's over mashed potatoes. It's brown it's gravy. It's brown, brown gravy. Brown you got gravy with that. that, that and, it, and, it's over, and it's over mashed what potatoes. What did I just That's say about potato thing. salad? Hard. If I taste no a hard-boiled egg <laughs> in my goddamn potatoes, I'm going to smack it. Because look, it got me thinking. When I taste a clump, I'm going to think it's full potato. <laughs> So when I have to bite down on the clump and that shit gives me egg yolky taste, not yolk, Ooh. but you know the like white part of it. <laughs> yeah. If I get eggy taste when I'm thinking I'm supposed to be getting potato but taste. You tell yourself beforehand and then your brain. You know it ain't fat. So don't put. But see, it's close. It's <laughs> too. The texture too because fucking close. Because your brain already when you go hard. I boy, need potato. Damn it. <laughs> you know he should, he should get. Potato! Get the extra Rachel Wright. Commercial. Oh, God. Jibbling ain't right unless it got motherfucking eggs in it. That's all right. right. That's you can keep that shit. Extra potato without a big snack. Yeah, like the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Yeah, see, and Portia, what's crazy is I'm not really a picky eater. Fuck if you y'all, make I'll it, eat gravy. if you make it, I'm going to taste it. And I'm going to eat Hold it. Hold on, let's get that good. real quick out the way, real quick. That's a dope. Oh, I feel like anytime people start going down the list of and things that they don't like or whatever, people automatically throw out, you a picky eater. Just because of my, hey, just, there, you got motherfuckers who try everything but don't eat I'm everything. everything. You know what I'm that. saying? That, that's and a, I work oh, in the no, kitchen. I, won't. I done tried and Anybody ate a lot of shit. Only no. certain, uh, there's only certain foods you can put on I'm my plate that I don't mind touching. Like, for real. Other than that, yeah, certain man, shit I mean, can't be sliding, bro. I can eat. I mean, Anything. Wait, baby. That's the thing. I will eat it if I have to, <laughs> if I'm hungry. Damn, don't clip this shit because that's going to be crazy out of context. But the thing is, like, I tell you, I'll eat damn near anything. Like, I don't fucking like beans. I hate them to my core. But God damn it, if they own my shit, I'm not going to be like, hey, God, get it off, get it off. They own my taco, I'm going to eat the bitch. I got one. They own some shit like that, I'm going to eat the shit. But. You better not be with no Latina. If you, huh? Huh? You better not be with no Latina. Shit, you better like beans than this, nigga. Nah, I got beans. Nah, but like, <laughs> bro, I feel like you got two thirds of their. While when you go to somebody's spot, okay, it's one thing if they be like, "Hey, go ahead, do your thing" or whatever like that. But it's one thing when motherfuckers go to other people's spot to eat, but they be eating like they at they spot and shit. You know what I'm saying? Wait, wait, like, hold up, Portia. That's not picky. We just gotta make sure that the motherfuckers that's on the menu know what the fuck we want. Cause if you make some shit I don't like, I'ma tear your ass. Why yeah, the fuck you make that's like shit? no, that's like that's like when motherfuckers automatically make your plate and shit and start throwing shit on that motherfucker. You don't know if I like that shit or not. Like who the fuck told you to put that fucking cold ass macaroni salad on my shit? I don't eat that shit. Sorry. Cause honestly, everything that we saying we not fucking you. with, we go eat. You. Who the fuck told you to put mayonnaise no, and mustard on my fucking sandwich my... and shit? Like, ask me what the fuck I no. want if you gonna make you my shit. You ain't gotta ask me, cause if you don't ask me, I'm gonna stand up your shoulder like lurch. No, I don't want that. <laughs> like, but, I'm, nah. And the I'm question good. was do's and don'ts, so we telling you what don't do. Wait, we actually we yeah. was on the dudes and then we kind of just switched to the don't. But don'ts are better. Yeah, obviously. Don'ts like, are better. Yeah, fuck, what the don't. fuck is don't? Po don'ts up. What should motherfuckers bet not motherfuckers? Hey, you wanna know what else? I ain't gonna lie, y'all finna hate me. I got another drink. I ain't too much a fan of baked macaroni and cheese. Bro, tripping, dog. Cause, Smoking cause, shit cause, here, cause, dog. cause, cause, cause. I thought I was fucked Cause, up. hear me up. Hear you me can up. make Fuck, bro, baked mac and cheese sound like what? Kraft is way better. That shit crazy to. You could bake crazy. Kraft. It's, it's crazy, it's it's crazy to say. But they dry it out. Most people it's dry that shit out. Most people do. That's what I'm saying. Bro, but if and even right and even if it is gooey, right, bro, and even if it's gooey, bro, it's thick. It's like you got pizza cheese inside your shit, and that shit is just. I don't like thick it's macaroni like and cheese. It's like how Chick-fil-A do it, but it's homemade and not fucking, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh my Look at God. That. It's even better when you get no. it really nice. What Chick-fil-A do is crap. Oh, bro. The, no, shit. the toasted breadcrumbs is cool, but I don't like mm-hmm. the, if, nigga, when you pull the shit through, when you pull, you gain through, 10 when you pull the shit through, bro, uh. the way that the cheese come off, it look like a pizza. I, I got like a, I got a don't. I got a don't. For real, for you real. You like your watery cheese. No, dressing, this nigga dress, mac and dressing cheese. not stuffing. Worry, but you can bake that shit, dog. <laughs> dressing not stuffing. So this if I a... come to the spot and I see dressing, I assume you don't know how to cook and you took the easy way out. Yeah, I said it. Okay. I ain't gonna lie to you. They both. 
They all the same to me. I know the there's like a difference, but the One only difference. Stuffed in the I was going to say, that's the only difference to me. But I, know I can, can tell do. when that shit come from a box, bro, and that shit just ain't. I don't know. That shit multiple, just. I've been saying, you, that, if you don't have your own recipes with the breadcrumbs and shit and that blah, 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 and all the extra shit, then yeah, you right. And you better add the fucking broth in there. Because some people be thinking, yo, for real though, like I get super offended when I see stuffing. Or Because I ain't going to lie, there's been some times where I have sat there and still smashed the stuff and you know what I'm saying, because you add the chicken broth up in there, you know what I'm saying, my mind tricked myself into, nah, nigga, this shit's dressing. That's so it, I'm Rachel, going, that's it, you just said, don't use stove top stuffing or whatever the fuck it is. Oh, thank you. That's it. That's, that's, that's it. That's, that's, it. that's, what, that's, what, that's what, where I'm going. That's where I'm going. That's where I'm going. Thank you. I know what the fuck it is. You don't use that shit. fuck eats that? Thank bro. You'll be surprised. This guy, hold on, this guy. Oh, we got a conflicted ass semi. No, the reason why, nigga, I like stuffing. I don't care how you dress that bitch up. It's going down. I'm eating that bitch. Stove top the box, the brand. That's what type of meat. Oh, my God. Ah, Wait, wait, wait. We have a caveat. We have a caveat. Their household knows how to cook. So if you know how to cook, you can turn some box shit straight. You can alter some shit into some shit. To some legit shit. Nah. So we I'm have saying. to take that with a grain of salt. We will have to taste it though. We would have to taste it in order to like come you, to a You never had food. enough to where it didn't fit in the turkey that you had another side dish. Would that be any different than what you cooked it in, in the turkey, if, even though it's the same? Batch? I ain't gonna lie, cause my, so, I, but it's the way of nah, baked. No, I get what you're saying. But no, you're, he's saying that basically it needs to be baked. Yeah. It doesn't need to be cooked in the stove with water and then covered up and let that shit fill up like that. You need to bake it in, in order to make that shit. Because there's two different ways no. to make it. And when you make it with stove top, it's watery a lot of times. When the way you talking about it, if, you, if that shit's okay, still, I, if that shit's just rolling out and you still got that shit up in the oven, cool, because once that shit get mixed in, that shit can get lost in the sauce. You know what I'm saying? I give you that. You need something on All right, now, nah, fuck that. While we on dressing. If I could, I would. Dressing, 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 Cranberry sauce. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Vanessa oh, Martinez no. with I, the I, like. Pull up. I like you, bro. All right, cranberry. Cranberry sauce. Fuck no, 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 and all that shit. Don't give me no nah, lumps of real crap. Nah, I want the see, real nah, shit. Nah, that, see, that shit look good, but that shit just makes me want to go get some fucking Jello because it's better. You know what I'm saying? Cranberry sauce. Hell, hell to the fuck no. Hell nah, hell bro. That is the perfect mix with dressing. I've been the outlaw in my house forever. That is, ever, that is the man. perfect mix with dressing, though. I was, but bro. Because yeah. it's like sweet and salty together. You it know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't do it. I can't but do it. It's Mama, if you watching, uh, my bro and my sister, y'all know. I am the last. I do not touch. The cranberry, cranberry sauce, sauce. Yeah. all the no sir. No, Only sir. cranberry y'all like is that seven up hey, of the sprite. With the yo, yo. Yeah, we already know it's can. Hey, what's way. going on, twenty below? David in this bitch. What's going on, man? Cause if it ain't can, how else you supposed to know how yeah, much to get? You gotta cut a little all right. line off. Now we can get back to some more dudes and don't nah, smash me like see, that. I ain't eating no motherfucking uh, grits. What's your favorite dish though? Sweet potatoes. And this one coming from Crystal. Po up. Damn, sweet. Racist. <laughs> I was not gonna get into that sweet potato. Sweet potato. Yeah. I'm conflicted on that because again, I just, yeah, he said sweet potato. Sweet potato. Wait, no, not not sweet potato pie. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Okay, sweet potato. all right, bet that. I'm I not gonna argue that one. Pull up. I will eat a whole bitch of them hoes. I'm not. I'm even, gonna I'm bring a even. like a big ass thing of them hoes back tomorrow. I promise you. Nothing. Isha, Rachel, tell Aisha. Go I'm ahead. bringing out a big ass. I'm bringing I'm back most of them. Fucking dough, right? That's what the fuck I'm talking Make about. Make a lot of sweet potatoes because I'm bringing most of them oh, home. Yeah, I want yeah, them. I, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Okay, yeah. tell them. Man, see if somebody know how to do this. If somebody can do it when they. If somebody can do it, no, no, no. If somebody do the banana pudding right, bro, and the ratio is right, you ain't gotta worry about that, fam. I'm I'll tell you. I may talk to Ali. That fam, bro. If you can, bro, please talk to Ali. Bro, fam, if you can slide me back some banana pudding, fam. I say, just give me a list of the sweets, and okay. I can, I can probably, uh, we can probably. Bribe I have, a, I have a confession. I ain't gonna lie, you gotta get the Hawaiian rolls. I gotta go find some. What? I've always said. You say Hawaiian rolls and yeah. I ate in the same sentence? Yeah, no! Just to fresh up. What on them hoes? There's a, bro, I was. The same way, the you same way you know double entendre noodles and shit. Say, I could double entendre some motherfucking Hawaiian rolls, bro. What's, what's, bro. Crazy, what's 
crazy I, Quincy lunch, is that? Lunch, breakfast, dinner, dessert. Right, I can flip some wine right now. This, 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 this time of year, I can actually be sweet meat because who doesn't put like a brown sugar honey glaze on their ham? Yeah. Or on their fucking yeah with some pineapple Hawaiian too. Rolls. Yeah. No water, pineapple. <laughs> no. If you don't cook your ham with pineapple, roll, it's gonna miss a taste. Hawaiian rolls. It's gonna so be I missing a taste. I want it to be Man, hard. that'll be fucking fire. Woo! Hard. Nutella How do you look like one of us, but you don't, you don't like Hawaiian rolls, you don't like pineapple, and that's sad, you don't like Hawaiian rolls, you can't, 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 what type of rolls y'all eating, Sybil? Like, for real, like, like, yo, if them hoes ain't from Golden Chick, them hoes better be Hawaiian rolls, real shit, you want the yeast. Do you he hear me? Hey, y'all, like we done had them yeast conversations before now. If the yeast tastes like that, baby, hey, I need you to do it. Yeah, All right, so you say, yeah, so you say what? What was yours? The yams? Yeah, <laughs> Sweet potatoes. <laughs> I knew he was gonna get his ass. You say the, you said dressing. You know what I'm saying? I said ham. You, the, just the ham? So you just like you just like pork ass. It'd be all of it. It'd be everything. Just like pig but ass. You got, but you gotta choose I one. Pick, though. You gotta I, choose I, one. I pick my groceries. You, know, you, right, you gotta yeah, choose right. one. So yeah. you choose a ham over dressing? Hell yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a tough one. That's, I, that's what I'm saying, bro. I'm like, damn, like, that's that good for yeah. you, Sean? Ham ain't as, ain't as uh, what's the word, transferable as the other food groups. And that Dressing thing. like chili and shit, when it sits and get cold, whatever like that, it gets better. You can and then I can meat. eat that shit throughout the day longer than I can some I ham, can, bro. Oh, I can no, eat sweet I potato can. dressing. Bro, bro I can go back and get Honestly, spoiled. my Thanksgiving plate is incomplete when I make my shit if there ain't no dressing on that bitch, bro. Like, real shit. I, if I'm making leftovers and there ain't no dressing on that oh, bitch, I'm offended. That's what I'm saying. It's me. It's, it's both. Bigger. They don't got both, I feel. Oh, no. I feel. Okay, I feel you. I, I can eat, I can I eat sweet potatoes cold. I can eat them. You mean Hold on, now when you say cold, do you mean room temperature or cold? I mean straight out the refrigerator. Damn, okay, you a savage. Nigga, that shit tastes like savage, that shit. Dog. I love them, but die down, not like that. People that say candied yams are racist. This, bro, I got to fucking. I do not agree with that. It's I mean, the same thing as racist and as problematic people don't age well. Broccoli, cheese, and rice casserole. What? That shit hard. If you, that shit. Look my at, papa said both, bro, and I know for a fact. In what context, though? Because he is of the age that at the time. <laughs> hey. I put. <laughs> I'm gonna put it like this. What did he sweet call? Potato, what did he call yams? Pie, sweet potato pies. Call, sweet call potato call pies or sweet potato pies. Yeah. Okay. But I have had different instances where he's called sweet potatoes yams. Now the di- main difference that I could tell you was that if it came out of a can, he called them mo- most of the time. That's where the yams came from. Oh, that's fine. If it that's was fucking- homemade. Then that's where he was calling them sweet potatoes. But he's called them both though. I can- yeah, and if he's of the age range where they actually had yams, they had yams, nigga. They actually yams, had them whole, nigga. They ate, nigga, nigga, they ate baked yams, mm-hmm. nigga. They like that shit. I'll give him that. And he did it. Pro- he, he, those who set the tone for us. If it come in a fucking can, that shit racist. If that shit is all natural, how the fuck is supposed to be? You got philosophical. Y'all trying to box you in and shit. shit. You know what I'm saying? Coming in a can and shit. I'm, hey, look. It's a science to this so shit. What, I ain't just shit. speaking out my ass. I ain't got a science Hold to on. what the fuck I be saying. So I'm confused. What? What? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, explain this fucking. We ain't what never got an explanation. Racist, what? 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 what, what why? Why is it? Because y'all, here's the thing for y'all who don't know. He, his whole thing is... Depending on what you call it, you're racist and you don't age well. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, they they not necessarily together. Damn, when I say it like that, but I mean that, but I mean, cross. but that's what it is, though. It's not necessarily. That's what it is, but I guess correlation don't always mean causation, but I guess we meeting at the middle somewhere. So yeah, you all right in a sense. So what it is, is, let me put, look, Dr. Sweet Meat today. I'm oh in this bitch. God. Yeah, okay, I'm about to say, where the fuck your motion at? What, 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 it, what it is, is sweet potatoes and yams. When you hear yam, just what type of reaction do you get? Country. Exactly. When you get country, what do you think? Plantation. No, no, no. no. That's oh, fine. shit. <laughs> he is like, see, the C in Chipotle stands for the, the T stands fun. for timeline. The, <laughs> the oh, L stands for lost. 
And the E stands for we gonna get y'all ass. No, nah, but <laughs> so when you hear yams, yams just gives off boy I'm energy. Getting a- a clay yeah. I'm getting a clay <laughs> when, vibe here. When I hear, boy. <laughs> when, when, when I hear, when I hear, you want to see my and face? And also, and also, because it's not even just the yams. Honestly, yeah, when you say you get money. Nah, when you say yams alone, you 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 are incorrect with what you're saying because that's their name. But when you add the god. Damn candy <laughs> to that bitch. I think that's what changes. Because and I'm not going to lie candy, to you. I'm not going to lie to you. Take this offense if you need to. I don't care. Write me a mean met- letter. Type me a, 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 a mean DM or some shit. I don't know what we do nowadays. The thoughts if and opinions you are... put, If you put marshmallows <laughs> on your motherfucking sweet potatoes. Oh, my God. We have a problem. You don't like the marshmallows? Now... If you put them on a no wait wait uh, now if you put them on a like a pie so, by but, by itself yes, it's like you have one the, pie with only pass you're getting because that, that is shit. dessert that's okay you can make that a nice little but you better have another sweet potato pie without no marshmallows that is not your end all be all that it better not be so that, it better not be because but, trust me even if I do eat both I do want to eat the one that ain't got the shit on it I do want my I like my sweet potato pies naked now if you give me sweet potatoes. And I even get a hint of that marshmallowy goodness, cause I fuck some marshmallows. Separate of my goddamn sweet potato, my sweet potato should taste like cinnamon, some what? Uh, a little nutmeg, a hint of citrus, a hint of citrus, because it should be in there marinating with an orange and a little lemon. It should marinate with that shit. I say that or ginger. You know what I'm saying? A little ginger too. My sister makes some good. Bro, no, I, I no, need you to. No, I need you to taste my sister's. It's, it's just for the and, spice, and, bro. And it's not. Nope. It shouldn't be dry. Like it shouldn't just be the cut potato. There needs to be a sauce that's on my shit. Because that when that hoe, because when that hoe gets baked, bro, it stays while it forms and keeps form. It still stays saucy when you go need, on that hoe. And there on needs that to crust, be a bro. juice and a sauce that goes on top. Of that. So when you go, it's like a. Oh this some SPS, y'all. Say, sweet potato science. I'm sorry, but look, that there's a reason sweet potatoes are the best fucking food. Like I said, if because if you get the sauce this right, be in the holiday section, bro. If you get the sauce right for your sweet potatoes, that's what makes it a breakfast. Cause you can eat that bit. It's, it's like a syrup, almost, bro. You know what I'm saying? And you can not, eat it bro, cold, and it's like anytime, bro. Wake up to it, go to bed to it, middle of the day snack, all the time. It, I'm not Isha, too big of a Isha fan. has perfected it since Daddy it's has passed. Everybody. Isha has perfected them hoes. I gotta give it to her. What? So the pie, I can fuck with it, just not cause consecutively. That shit would like get played out fast as fuck. Oh, it can get too sweet. I can see the pie getting way too sweet. If, if, like, I can't do if, a pumpkin pie. Like, with, I can't with, do any pie like We gonna get to pies in a minute. Pie. I can do we a pecan pie. We gonna get to pies. Like Honestly, we can, pie. the, we can segue to pies right now if you want to. But, but no, we, on cool, we on cool things sipping right now. All that's in there. That's what I'm saying. That's one way you can easily fuck up a pie is if you put too much sugar in it. Because a lot of the stuff that you're putting in the pie is already sweet in itself. Yep. So if you don't know how to balance the sugar between like the... The pie filling with the crust and the different things you can put oh. like that bitch would be too sweet. That go both ways because you can have a motherfucker that that don't put enough sugar in that sweet potato pie and that shit be nasty. And that yeah, it just tastes like, like a, sweet potato, just like, like, a like potato, like a, yeah, a baked sweet potato. Fuck, am I eating a baked potato pie? That shit yeah, tastes like nah, some shit. I'm, from with school, you, like, I'm with you on that too. You can also undo it, but like. Ooh, pecan pie. Because pecan oh, pies, no, you on. can make those a little bit too sweet. Because that's almost just pure yeah. sugar. I just had my first slice of pecan pie. The was shit. It, was you, was you, How you feel was, about it? Yeah, was it a good one? It was a good one. Yes, like, uh, get some ice cream, you get ice cream with it? No. no. Oh, that shit. That's what but you can tell the difference well. between... We actually had two different pies. We actually had a homemade Ooh, pecan pie nice. and a store-bought. And the pecans <laughs> didn't even go to the bottom on the store-bought. <laughs> So that's what, said, that's what they say. You can tell the difference between It's us. just sprinkled on top. And even that little fucking... The, I feel like store-bought pecan pie depend way too much on that filling part. Yeah, there's just Using sugar filling in that bitch. just filler on that bitch. And the pecans ain't like you say. In that bitch. You know what I'm saying? I need every time my sister, I fork through that bitch, I need pecans on my right. shit. Right. Because look, when Aaliyah, shit. Cause look, Aaliyah be going through her fate, like, what's called it? And so when you become a master baker, you have to fuck up a few times. Fact. Aaliyah... Don't 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 kill me for telling this story because you still make great shit. But she did make a pecan pie and she was super sad about it because it was a little liquidy, right? You know what I'm saying? It was like it, it, it was the consistency didn't 
you wasn't thick enough to make it like a pie. Right. But when you cut it and put it all together, you know what I'm saying? You taste and you like, nah, you solid, nigga. This it tastes perfect, nigga. I'll eat this bitch like a soup all goddamn day, nigga. You just need to add a little flour, you know what I'm saying? Thick enough the consistency, you straight. So if I can eat your shit as a soup, oh, and I ain't, see, I ain't gonna give, I ain't gonna count it as Thanksgiving. But when we get to them desserts, that just got me thinking about peach cobbler. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. Let's go to, let's go to this pies I got real quick. Oh, uh. Let me go with everything. One pie to rule them all. The first four pies you got apple pie. Okay. Blueberry pie. Oh, uh, chess pie is great. That's like only a southern thing. We just had one of those at the job. Like, that's literally only a southern thing. People do Cherry not know pie. what that is. Okay, wait, I'm sorry. What was the first one? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Apple pie. Okay. Blueberry. Blueberry. Okay. Cherry. Okay. Uh, and okay. chocolate pie. Okay, so, so that's the, this the first bracket? Yep, who wins? All right, hold on. Give me that list again. Uh-huh. You said cherry, blueberry, apple, and apple. chocolate. Apple taking that apple. one. Apple. You got to go right. with the homemade apple, apple, man. Especially if you got, like, actual apples in that bitch, and you can... Right. Yeah, oh, smack, I literally, bro. I just have with one. With the cinnamon, though? Fuck yeah. cinnamon. Throw some powdered sugar on top. Either way, nigga, if you figure, if it got the apples in it, and that's you solid. it. Alright, All right, okay. Uh, got- Mike, Mike say blueberry, Portia say cherry. Okay, y'all that going crazy. Had, that shit held McDonald's dessert. Che- okay, now, hold up. If we had to do a second place, though. I ain't gonna lie, chocolate. If we had to do a second and third, which I do, I'm doing second would be cherry for me, because that's another classic. I'm not gonna lie. Fuck the classic. A good cherry, if you get a good cherry feeling, good cherry pie, bro, that cherry, that cherry shit. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Too much chocolate for me. I'd have to say chocolate or blueberry. I'm going with the fruits first. Chocolate's last. I'd probably go blueberry. Only because cherry would be last. I hate cherry. Yeah, blueberry would be last. Yeah. I've asked, I like I, sometimes cherry. If, if you get them in season, mm. a good cherry shit can be that shit can not be, be real be tart and shit. I just ain't. Mm. All right, so next one you got coconut pie, key lime, pumpkin, and pecan. Pecan, Fuck! pecan off top. Fuck you! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Birthday that nobody celebrated with me. It was just me and a key lime pie, bro. Uh, I smacked that bitch. So like, man. Wait, you like for the backhand pimp? Uh, nah, that's that's how. Like, yeah, no, that's how it started. You know how you like tap the bottom of the uh, blessing and shit. That's how I like. Yeah, bitch, happy birthday to me. They like, twerk something for me. Like, fuck. Whipped cream everywhere. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. Uh. Fuck. fuck. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I gotta go with pecan. Pecan gotta be Cause, the one. Cause, you know, I'm not you gonna pecan? finish that. You know what? I know pies. The, I, th- I, I, I thought I was going to go the same I can't lime. finish that sentence, bro. Okay. Uh, but you, lime, but that's, the, but that's the main lime. reason, because the key lime ain't got no texture. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Like, <laughs> while it's good, like y'all was saying about, uh, <laughs> uh, like, how you saying about, like, I can get tired of key lime real fast. Like, I probably have, like, one bite of that shit, and then I'm like, putting that bitch to the side, even if it's up. good, bro. Yeah, cause because I could, yeah, I'm going to eat probably about two of them bitches at least before, before I put I that bitch down. Oh, God, especially with some ice okay. cream. You can't add nothing to a key lime pie to make it better. Like, Bam. That shit week, like sherbet. <laughs> shepherd's pie. Wait. Hey, I see what the fuck he did there, but fuck. Okay, come on. <coughs> Moose meat. Carrot. And vanilla cream. Shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie, bro. You got me fucked up with the corn, the mashed potatoes, and shit underneath the crust. Oh, you know and my shit. daddy used to hook that shit. Shepherd's pie all fucking day, You know day, my bro. daddy used to hook that shit. Shepherd's pie. Stay smashing. <laughs> stay smashing. <laughs> stay smashing that's a, that's bro. a struggle meal, though. Bro, <laughs> do you t- like, bro, oh, no. it's like you either get, it's like, what if we don't want to do no chicken pot shepherd's pie and shit? Bro. Nah, we can do some shepherd's pie, though, and that shit can smash. Straight potatoes, bro. nigga. What I say? Potatoes, nigga. The most. Fucking elusive food group Again. of the fucking planet, nigga. This potatoes. Is potatoes, is potatoes nigga, worship them. <laughs> <laughs> potatoes. Oh, he nigga. likes his fucking potatoes. Hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? What's your favorite soup, potato. <laughs> oh, you know, you know what it is? It's the smoke that's making us get all fuzzy to where you can start seeing shit. The, the light is starting to catch the smoke. That's what's making us look light now. Uh, oh, nigga. Okay, so you nigga. got. This is why I'm so green. This is why, this is why, this is why I'm hot. <laughs> nah, that's not it. Alright, men's. So you oh, got yeah, apple so pie versus it. pecan nah. pie. Cause it, uh, I figured it. Apple pie versus pecan pie. Pecan. I'm going in. Ooh. And if you want to fight me about it, it's whatever. Cause pecan is way better than fucking apple. 
Cause like you know nuts. what? It's these nuts over everything right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually going to go Apple, bro. The reason right. being, bro, you could do Apple pie so many different ways. Like, you could make an Apple pie so many. Like, you could have the crisscross top on it. You know what I'm saying? You could have the, like, full. The clothes top, the, the covered checkers. top. Nigga, you can do all that with a pecan pie. No, you can't. Yes, you can. Yeah, it's just pecan. Go to the nuts in there with the little cream on top with a little. Cross on you high. enjoy the nuts. It's you fine. got pecan. Oh, I man. got apple. He twisted it. You got apple. <laughs> yeah, I'm going apple pie on that one. Okay. Apple. apple. All right. Thing. So, apple pie versus shepherd's pie. Apple. That's not as quick of a decision as you think. But, bro, we apple. talking about merch, though. I can't have a whole motherfucking. He just there. said pie, goddammit. What? Apple. He said one pie to rule them all. I did. I said nothing about dessert. What's going <laughs> what's to get you your necessary ingredients? <laughs> what can you really eat on a two, Tuesday afternoon? Mm-hmm. When the sun beaming down on you. And you, you need nutrition. You, you got to go to the gym, motherfucker. Fuck you for that one. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Apple pie go. work, nigga. Fuck that. That apple pie work. I'll be cramped up, <laughs> sluggish like a son, bitch, boy. I'll be in that bitch. You gotta good. make it all. Healthy. Man, I'ma go into that bitch. I'ma leave this bitch at 9:30. I'ma be back at this bitch by 10:45. Quincy, Quincy, a woman's pie is the Damn. sweetest pie. That is facts. But we ain't. That's not in the bracket. That is God tier. God damn. Quincy ain't never had. That's no true pie. too. Rachel, you answered your own question. I think you just you got me, bro. You said it's cheesecake, a cake, it's or pie. It's it's yeah. called cheesecake. <laughs> it's cake. But it's close to a... Nope. It's not, not called cheese pie. He's not fucking lying. They would call it the cheese pie factory. It's yeah. Cheese it's called cake cheesecake. Factory. But it's not formed cake. in the cake. It is formed in the cake form. It has pie crust. Not all of them have pie crust. 90%. Nah, I mean... If they don't, then that's that Mexican... Uh, kind of... Uh, dessert. What's that shit called? Blonde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if it doesn't, if it doesn't have, if it doesn't have crust, it's blonde. That's what that is. Y'all ever had cheesecake bread? Listen, if it ha- if it actually, that shit slaps. You talking about red velvet? Fire. Red velvet. That shit fucking cheesecake slaps. Cheesecake bread, bro. Oh, that shit slaps. Oh yeah, you when Look, they mix it right. That and banana shit bread, bread is my favorite, out, bro. bro. Banana I had bread is super like good. Ten packs of that shit. You killed that shit. Threw up. Everywhere. I, I, yeah. Yeah. I was with you, yeah. bitch. Just throwing that shit back. Just throwing that, that shit, shit back. back. Got it. Oh, this was Why? so good. The bread was. Hey, I did man. that with. Uh, I did that with lemon cake. Cause that with the lemon and the icing on that shit, man. Oh. Fuck that. Now nah, for real, shit. Vanessa, oh. she said shepherd's pie, whole meal. Yup, that's exactly. And see, and that's the thing. You see, so <laughs> you threw once you threw in jam and then the time. I'm feeling like he like. Time like that. <laughs> that's an anytime thing, bro. Yeah, like, for yeah, real, yeah. for real. Yeah, you can hear with the munchies. Snack, so meal, anything. Yeah, yeah. 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 Shepard's pie, go. pie On a bullshit go. ass technicality <laughs> that it shouldn't even be competing <laughs> with these motherfuckers. Don't even go here, but it kind of <laughs> does. That shit graduated like five years I, I, ago. I hold decided up. to hang around. I hold up. Hey. Hey. That shit happened with Tyler Hayes. They hate the fuse and shit. Yes, they do. We yes, just gotta we, we gotta put the champ up against somebody just to see if it can win in the little you know what I'm saying victory round. Okay. Shepherd's pie, pie, pie. Word? You, first of all, shepherd's pie, you lose. Shepherd. You shepherd's pie, you lose. What kind of pie? You pie? No, he said pot pie, pie, period. Pot pie. Pot pie, pie, period. No, shepherd's Chicken pie. You look, pie. So you think a pot pie is more versatile than a shepherd's pie? Yes. I can't eat no. But couldn't you do the same thing? Bro, how much but? Shepherd. Like shepherd pie, that motherfucker no, hot because pocket. no, both both of them are handicapped <laughs> in that spot because they both gonna have the same ingredients. But that the potatoes are too overpowering, so the flavors don't differ as much as with a pie pie. With okay, so yes, that, because so that yes, because with? look at this. You go with a with a shepherd's pie, you gonna have your ground meat. You know what I'm saying? Ground meat and the potatoes gonna be the main thing underneath that bitch. Right, right. Okay, now on pie pie, you actually your chicken. Season. It has a broth and shit. Too, that sometimes. gravy type shit that it says. Yeah, it. So you mash both of those together on top of your crust. Don't even fucking let. Literally, we mo- we know how to cook. So let's not act like those vegetables ain't gonna have no seasoning either she in that okay. bitch. See, or she can grill. I can't eat no store bought pie pie. Like my auntie got zebby going. Nah, there's a few of them hoes that's hard. I can say. Nah, there's a few of them hoes that's hard. Now I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm half with you on that. 
There's some that I like. I'll tell you, like, I, I, the when big it's ones about, are good. I, I like who I like. Banquet, no. Nah, I'm real ones, fucking scared to try some new motherfucking chicken pot yeah, pies. Yeah, like, there, there's some big ones. There's shits for me, motherfucker. Nigga, Stouffer's, hey, anything Stouffer's, you got me fucked oh, up. I was just going to say, those, those, those. Boys, it's like small, Fuck nah. nah, but they bigger. They, they gotta like have their ass soon, like making two, them shits look so damn good. Like, they like, that's false advertising. They like two, three dollars. Those pot pies, you can go for those. And fresh bread, pizza, no cow, too easy. Pie, thick lemonade, cans, and freezer. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I, I know what you're talking about. They got like ca- graham crackers. Yeah, they got the. Uh, that's, that's similar to like a millionaire pie. If Rachel and they make it. What you say, the pot crust, that's the graham cracker? With the, the uh, remember, you know, like the pink chicks? We, we used to sell them hoes. They fucking hold us so bad at my job. After like Kool Aid so pies hard. and shit, basically, and shit like that, right? Kind of sort of. Like uh, the pink, the pink salad shit that uh, yeah, it was a piece of lemonade. Yeah, I know. It's like turn it into a pie. Ba- yeah, Man, with the whipped cream, was, they mix it with oh the whipped cream and shit. Oh my god, that shit was so. Bro, good. so Ghana, that's uh, I tried to steal them shits as a kid to get my mom to make that. That's our granny. That's uh, Rachel and them granny and shit. She made millionaire pies is what they call. We got to do this shit again, bro. This it's the motherfucking, uh, nah, it's so hard. It's whipped cream in the similar sense to what you're talking about, but it ain't got, like, no, the flavors in it. It's just a bunch of fruit. So, like, cherries, mandarins, uh, what's call it? Fruit salad? Pineapple. Yeah, but with whipped cream All mixed, whipped cream. put inside the motherfucking pie crust. Bro. That shit is hard. Bro. I might, I'm going to try to bring one. If Miss Karen makes some, I'm going to try to bring one back. Just so, Nick, when I tell you the millionaire pie is great, nigga. Great. That's like, that's all I can say. We're going to get great. a half eaten slice. Yeah, yeah. He's going to have to have you. He's going to have you. You know the fork thing at the beginning of that bitch? That whole going to be hey, look, right the top, the, out there. Nah, look, the whole top going to be smooth as hell. Y'all going to be like, fam, I know it's supposed to be a little wavy or something on here. <laughs> <laughs> that's how pie is coming with whipped cream, bro. Why is it if like that? If that hoe ain't pop lock and we got an issue. Rip my bad, bro. Um. Oh, no. Okay, oh, now, nah, what? what? Uh, Let me get this shit out of here. Ooh, pro up. Yeah, let's okay, get what they talking about. about the millionaire pie is the truth. Ours is white, not pink. It has whipped cream, mandarin, oranges, pineapples, uh, lemon juice. fresh lemon juice, and graham cracker crust. The best. R.P. Gannon. Nah, for real. That shit is hard. That shit sounds fucking fire. And Quincy said, here's a good question. Oh, my God, you guys are popping. Here's a good question. What would you do if someone brought the Stouffer's mac and cheese to Thanksgiving dinner? Thanks for the idea. You know what? I'm not uh, mad at you. Come on with it. Oh, God. I'm telling you. because Where just, that come from, you already know. Cool. It's just as, no, because it's just as fucking good as whatever these niggas be trying to add 32 oh, cheeses man. to fucking macaroni and cheese, trying to get creative and shit, when in reality, bro. Just first of that all, that shit be first. I'm going to go ahead and no, say No, it be good, that, but. But nah, hold nah, on. Nah, dry, bro. I don't like dry nah. shit. If you can't make that shit to where it's actually gooey not and nice fucking bro. cheese, bro. Not just dry, no, bro. bro. Put some milk in Sometimes, that shit. Sometimes, nah, every cheese don't need to be fucking mixed, bro. That is very true. Every is cheese true. is not fucking. You cannot just, just because it's cheese, think you can throw that shit together. No, the fuck you cannot. Hell no. But for the most part, throw a lot of cheese. But that's what they sound like ambrosia in the smash, crust. Though. That's that hard. Oh, God. That is what But you can't do it like out. liquor, though, and just throw shit in and just come up with something. You can't nah, you have to taste shit. it. You have to actually try mixed cheeses. Like, so if you was a, say if you was a, like, person that's like, okay, my mac and cheese gonna kill. Before Thanksgiving, like, well enough before, you need to be trying out cheeses and shit. Because I worked, I had, we made a mac and cheese from scratch at one of my jobs before. So I know you gotta melt the cheese down. You start with the little, uh, all, uh, what the fuck that shit, a roux and the extra shit, and then you thicken up the one's kind. So you can do it, but you have to try the cheeses, mozzarella, gouda, different shit that you gonna put. Honestly, I wanna see niggas go crazy and use like some Alfredo type shit on their Thanksgiving shit. That will smack any nigga's macaroni and cheese if you use like an Alfredo, the, the, like a cheese with like Alfredo and some extra shit though. Ch- nigga, you know what? Nigga, gonna smack. You know what? Nah, hold on. Instead of doing mac, then and you she- put no. the crust on no, top. No, no, no. Instead, no. Of, no. instead of doing mac and cheese the regular way, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Do it with the uh, Alfredo shit and do everything else in there. That's what, no, that's what I'm saying. Then you throw the crust. So that's, that's what, like, fucking, honestly, Domino's and them do that shit. They throw their little fucking bread crust on, and bake that bitch over the top of their motherfucking I'm saying, exhibit A, right here. So it's like, the, the, nigga, that shit hard. Get in my bed. Yeah, somebody shit. brought homemade, somebody brought Stouffer's. What you eating first? On what? On what? Macaroni and cheese, oh, Titan? What you talking about? Oh, because yeah, if you talk anything. Fuck you. Anything. Yeah, anything. Fuck it. I don't even, yeah, I'm about to say, I don't I even know lie. why I asked what, because if you said homemade, I'm going with homemade right off the fucking rip. Like, for real, for real. Now, 
Well, yeah, because anything Stofus, bro, I'm telling you, like, I'm not fucking with it, fam. I'm not fucking with it. Again, mess me with that. But even they French bread pizzas, bro. Wow, that's why that's probably the best thing they got. They don't get a pass on that Jesus because Christ. that's easiest fuck to do. But I still got to, like, douse my shit in fucking black pepper to, yeah, no, nah, Stofus is not it, fam. Stofus is not Stofus it. Is not now, it. if you say Red Baron, we can, we can talk some. Are you talking about frozen meals? He's talking frozen. He's talking stoppers, about like somebody bro. bring some type of meal or something. That's the uh, Stoppers, nigga. Yeah. Well, no, I'm thinking like I'm, t- I'm thinking in my head like what the fuck is like stovetop stovetop. You fucking weak ass lasagnas oh, and shit like that. Yeah, they so be doing. Yeah. Frozen food. Yeah. They should be ugly frozen in a bit. Oh, that's easy. We're gonna go with fucking. We're gonna go with homemade. I ain't gonna lie. That's easy. I'm gonna stove. I ain't gonna lie. Unless it's a stir fry. What? If it's a stir. Unless it's like a stir fry. You'd rather do a fucking Stouffer's stir fry than a homemade stir fry? No, I'm saying if it's a Stouffer's stir fry compared to like homemade macaroni and cheese or some shit. No, 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 no. Nah, that's what I'm saying. Like, no, I'm saying like the Thanksgiving. Somebody brought them a Stouffer's stir fry shit to the motherfucking day, and somebody else brought baked homemade mac and cheese. I'm going to stove. Hey, yeah, You're I'm going to Stouffer's right. You're fuck, disrespectful. Fuck that dry ass. I'm grabbing my ass. fucking mac and cheese and I'm leaving this fucking. Nigga, that shit like. Take it with you because it wasn't gonna get eaten that, anyway. That shit like a. That shit like a. That shit like a church. <laughs> said, I'm out there. That shit like a church's biscuit. <laughs> Disrespecting my shit for that yeah. motherfucking <laughs> nigga. Be like. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time you eating that bitch. My mama used to get raspy. Your throat get raspy after your first bite. What would y'all do with somebody uh, pulled to, with the TV, we all say fuck the TV dinner, we ain't finna, we finna laugh at that ass. Yeah. Depends on who house, who made, who, I ain't gonna lie, nah, you right, we can't eat at everybody house, that's why I talk shit. Cause, oh yeah. Cause, hey, hey, if y'all want that sweet, we can go to our good crib. Bro, I was high, I'ma live it down though. And we tell, I mean, I'm sorry, we, we, we take food serious. I mean, that's and, what that is. And I ain't gonna lie. I ain't had too many motherfuckers eat food I made and be like that shit was nasty. I used to feel that like I was in college, goddammit, with fucking eight to ten drunk motherfuckers in my crib and everybody is in that bitch talking about, I don't even get to eat my own fucking food because everybody in that bitch smashing my shit. So yeah, I, ain't, I can cook. I fucked up one time and then a, a bigger chunk of brown sugar came out than was supposed to. That's my bag for not using a spoon. He said it. You're right. I, I own a that. little bit. This nigga's wrong. Your origin <laughs> story? I, 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 I own that. That was on me. Y'all ever see the video but, of that girl pouring up? Hold up. up wait, 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 uh, wait, 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 wait. We got to finish this because she, she want to bring it out. I own mine. That's on me. Mine was an accident. The cool, the sugar dropped too much. You did it before sugar. when you was making Cheerios Spice. and shit. And your shit, you pouring the sugar, and instead of your shit, it's accidentally going. But guess what? But guess what? You chose the motherfucking raisins, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you chose apples and pecans and bears. Oh, my. You want all that shit in a potato salad. He, he said trail mix like uh, a motherfucker. He ain't, he ain't fucking lying, Portia. You did choose the, the lifestyle. That and so, a- I don't mind being <laughs> sweet meat because that is how I get paid. But, what is this gonna call it? do not cross the line into saying that that means I can't cook. I fucked up, but I get down in the goddamn kitchen or my father would be turning in his ashes. Okay? Wait, okay. What? <laughs> Yeah, nah, Fred, uh, fuck you fucking hurt him, right? Turning in his ashes. You mean the wind would blow his ashes? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the wind would blow his ashes, bro. <laughs> but nah, yeah, I can cook, though. It go down in the kitchen. It go down in the it's kitchen. The eerily wind blow. We gonna show y'all, too. I know we be just be talking and shit, but I ain't bullshitting. We gonna bring, we, we gonna show y'all we can get down in the kitchen. That uh, what's it called? Y'all, y'all got it? Y'all got any? Anybody got any more things? We got any more things? Nah, I didn't rant it enough All on right, Thanksgiving yeah, shit. Nah, y'all, y'all got to be, y'all got to be ready. It's a do. My sweet potatoes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I know it's gonna be a, a group of y'all family members step outside before y'all go eat, and they gonna come back low eyes, smelling right. Finna make the biggest plate you all done seen, bro. They finna slow down. Just make sure you get ice when you go. I'm one of them. When with you me. go on that walk. And you go on that walk with your cousins you ain't seen in a long time. Make sure you bring back ice so nobody is suspicious. 
Otherwise, I mean, we don't care, but be courteous. Nah, but. Hey, no, I, you know, now, now that I'm older, I'm sorry. We passed the point where y'all need to start acting fucking crude and shit like that just because motherfuckers smoking they weed any damn way. Fuck that. That's what the fuck we do. No, nah, I'm God. That's, that's why I love my family because I don't make give a fuck. They're Everybody coming out and be like, hey, look, where the shit at? <laughs> it's been a minute. Let me hear some of y'all shit. Here. Now I don't give a fuck who's here. Give me yours. Damn. That shit lit. <laughs> Isaiah mean no disrespect. Oh, no, nah, Vanessa, you knew. I ain't talking to you. We straight. I'm talking to Portia. Mm hmm. Vanessa, you good. We straight. I ain't, I don't know you good enough for us to be going. You know what I'm saying? If Titan, but, the, but see, Titan said you Titan. Yeah, if you Titan fiance, then it ain't going to take long. But we talking to Portia right now. You know, Portia's ass today. Mrs. Raisins over there. Maybe you could disrespect him. It's all right. Yeah, maybe. It's all right. Put some stars. You could disrespect him. Sharing uh, location. But just know. We oh, yeah. Know. Fuck it. Why we on this shit? What's y'all thoughts on sharing, sharing locations with your significant other? Because that is a big thing in relationships. In modern relationships, sharing locations is almost like a a must. And it's like an unspoken code of relationships nowadays. You know how people let social media dictate their life and shit like that. And so it's a, a, most of us, we come from the generation before that shit was even possible. So... What's y'all thoughts on that with your phone and sharing location? No, uh, like well, I mean, I'm going to say no because, again, that's just some handicap shit because folks is too damn immature to sit there and really just hold, you know what I'm saying, hold they self accountable. Like, nah, there should be a fucking trust thing there to where you shouldn't even feel like you should have to fucking do that shit. I do like the safety you know aspect I'm of gonna it. I was going to say the same thing. That's my point to it. Safety? Yeah. So is like, it, but is it me, ever like, turned off? Hmm? So is it just sharing location is always on? For me and my wife, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, like, I don't sit at my, I don't sit at home all day and be like, oh, okay, there you go. You know what if I mean? If that's like, the motivation, as long as that, if that's the motivation and that shit don't get brought up on some other shit, you know what I'm saying? Like on some bullshit. No, no. Like, oh, where are you at Walmart at three? Well, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm never, one, I'm never not, know where I'm not supposed to be. And two, like, for instance, if my wife says she's going to go shopping, but she don't tell me where she's going, I'm like, oh, well, nigga, you went to Walmart. All right, well, let's go, and let's see if you can find me something, what, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. Where are you supposed to be? What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean? You a grown-ass man. What do you mean? Where are you supposed I'll give to be? Y'all, I'll give y'all the safety part. I'll give y'all the safety part. part on but like, I do like the safety, though, because, I mean, to an extent, if someone, like, say when they go, like, oh, shit. Been, they've been in Walmart. It's been a little longer than they usually go. Oh shit! Okay, they spent in Walmart. Blah, 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 we look shit. like head from WWF attitude. <laughs> no, but I mean, like for instance, like my wife had hers. Like for instance, her her was her phone was messing up, and as it was messing up, she had a flat tire and she was stuck. How can I? And my cousin was right around the corner. All right, man. Fuck out these mature pick you answers up. and shit. We all mature. We all get it. And safety, great, boom. And nobody has fucking trust issues. Fuck that. Alternate reality, fucking Doctor Strange, boom, we slice through the fucking multiverse. Everybody in this bitch got trust issues. Now answer the question about sharing locations. Hell no. Fuck all that safety shit. How lie. we doing it? I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I don't like it though, fam. My baby mama tried to do this shit with me, fam. I ain't like it. She really knew where I was. <laughs> I didn't know how she knew where I was. And she did this shit low-key herself. I was like, I did find out once, once I found out, I'm like, no, oh, yeah, 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 check that shit out. Oh my, so you can call me and ask me where I'm at, I'm gonna tell you where I'm at, but you're not finna call me blowing up my phone, I said I'm on my way. If I make a few stops somewhere to do some shit, handle some money, you plays, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be on my way home, you can call and ask what the hell I'm doing, I'm gonna tell you. But I had to do this right quick before I came over here. I ain't gonna lie, cause as Mr. Single nigga, Nah, I'm grown as fuck. Hey, do you hear my me? mama don't you even. A relationship. Fuck. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Mom, I wouldn't. Mom, I would be. Uh, I'd be like really hit. Like I would be tripping. <laughs> I can't even get it out. That's how much I don't fuck with it, bro. My, 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 like my, my, I'm my, with you, bro. My mama, mama said, if my mama wanted like an air tag on my shit, I'd be like, no. Like I'm sorry, bro. There, why? Why do you need to know where I'm at at all times? What the fuck, fuck are you gonna do? Huh? The fuck are you gonna do? Something happens, oh, you can tell people where I'm at. And shit, I probably could too. And if I can't, then goddammit. You get to that point, your ass can go. It's about, yeah, nah, but 
You don't trust where I'm at. You think I'm a lie. Men are liars. All right, cool. I'm to that point. Motherfuckers oh, need to go. They get to that point. Oh, shit like that. Nah. So, no. We, damn. So, on oh, both of those, this nigga, yeah. went, this nigga went to the multiverse me. and we still agree. <laughs> <laughs> we like, hell no. Nah. Let's see. Fuck you talking about. Do y'all understand what era we in? This is the era of fuck around and find out. I Yo, agree. is that Benny? Is that Benny oh, yeah, right there? Poe up there. Oh, BJ in the cut. So, bye, like, bye, I get it. Bye, I just bye, think, bye. I think honestly with that type of shit, bro, sharing locations, all that extra shit. To, for safety and a lot of reasons, cool. It's great. And it, honestly, it's cool for when, like, say, you, hey, where you at? And then you just send that bitch over and it's easily to get directions you should got to send it but see, you know, but that's the, see. the thing is though you don't have to have that on to send your location that, and, you know and, and that's what i'm saying i can, like, I can just send my location to a motherfucker even without having that shit on for you to be oh man i know your ass say you standing outside though across the street bitch that, and that and that's why i think the technology is made for some reason it's made our generation a lot more insecure very which is very uh Opposite of what you think it would do. Nah, I, that's exactly what you thought it would do because the whole time when people thought they was getting their privacy and shit, it was getting invaded the whole time and you ain't never had it. So by not having that and shit, motherfuckers get super fucking paranoid and always on some other shit. And I don't think no one had, like, yeah. we don't really have privacy no more. I know we talked about it on the pod before and you kind of explained how y'all, like, how you do it and stuff in, like, a marriage and shit like that. But yeah. it's like, when you think about it with that type of shit, you don't really have too much shit to where, like, yeah, you're by yourself, but even still, you're not by yourself in a sense. Like, somebody gonna know where you fuck you at. You can't yeah. just really go and disappear and do what the fuck you want without nobody bothering you. Somebody has to know where you at at all times. Yeah, yeah. Now, sometimes that's not really a bad thing, but I don't know. It's weird. You know what I'm saying? At least me. At least that's just me. It is weird. Nah, I feel you on that one, bro. If you want to just I don't know, I guess, like, for me, like, to get to have that feeling, like, I just keep my phone and I watch at home. I go walk around the block. Yeah, that do make sense. Yeah, just leave the shit disconnected. Ooh, the boy, that's a theory I was talking about the other day. Why you leave your phone disconnected? Oh, my God. Where were you at? I ain't. Where were you No, I did that shit. I did that shit for, like, a day, bro, and that shit felt good. It did. Like, that shit felt real good, bro, not being on my shit. No music, no nothing. Just nothing, bro. Nothing. Not like nothing at all. And that shit felt that shit felt good as fuck. Oh god, you gotta disconnect go shit in the middle of the <laughs> Fuck it, I got I go into it. I was thinking about this shit the other day. Hear what the world be. With this hoe bro and the internet and shit now, cause it's not even like AOL when you literally wasn't connect you had to connect to it and then disconnect to use the phone. Yeah. We are always connected to the entire what is ninety percent of the earth. But take it to the world. You know what I'm saying? At least everybody that has internet and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, our energy is always flowing to them, and there's always flowing. So it's like, pe- you can get overwhelmed sometimes and be tripping and be like, man, why am I just so angry and so frustrated and so sad and so this? Because shit, nigga, you've been on that phone for about an hour and a half straight, and you just took in everybody. Every post you scrolled by, you took in their energy all those and all their emotions. YouTube and videos and shit like that. that or positive or whatever. Like, now you're comparing your life to somebody else's to where it's like, well, I wish I was living like that. And you just filling your head with a bunch of emotions that you wouldn't typically use. With now it's like, yeah, everybody might be depressed. Because you're always on this bitch right here. And it's Real like, shit. we make fun of our parents for saying that shit. And they don't know. That they right when they say that shit because it sound like bullshit, but they be right both when they be Both of us like, are right and both of us are wrong. Type shit. Like, like when they say it's that down. damn phone, they right, but they don't know that type shit. They just talk it. So it's like, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> Why the real? fuck you gonna know what you're talking about? Basically. Oh, oh God. God. The wall, see what's there. This is what happened when you smoke and you just headless on the motherfucking fuck Wednesday night. You know what I'm saying? Floating Tell downtown. You, I ain't gonna lie, we gonna have to get another picture next time though, cause the ball ain't in this one. Right. At least we ain't got Damn, you know Boston beat our ass. You're right, we got a what? Huh? What? Boston won. Boston Hell yeah. Celtics? Mavericks? Hell yeah. Who's 125 to fucking. What's our, what's our record though? I mean, we good. It's just, I mean, I'm from all B teams like that five, though. But hey, let's talk about uh, age limit eight. on music, games, and TV. All right, so check it. I know there's an age limit on, you know, what you can watch on movies and you know, TV or music, what you can listen to. Yeah, you really? But do you think they're all equal? <laughs> I, don't, I, 
don't, I don't think they all carry the same weight. I agree. Because movies are on a completely different standard or whatever like that based on the rating. Because of what dictates that rating. When it comes to music and video games, music and video games are going to be more on the same level. You know what I'm saying? Than anything else. Because I feel like while it also depends on the parent, you know what I'm saying? Because there are some parents who, like my mama, my mama was letting us play Grand Theft Auto and shit like that. What age? And, bro, I was playing that shit on the PlayStation. Right, I so know. So I'm talking about before I was 10. You know what I'm saying? Like I was playing Resident Evil and shit like that when these shits were dropping. We were playing Loaded and shit like that on the PlayStation because... You just had certain parents who just knew, like, okay, I'm raising my kids right. I know they ain't about to go fucking start going. Right, right, okay, mayhem, okay, cool. Like shit, but at the same time, though, you know, you got to watch that because you could get a game like uh, Mass Effect or Cyberpunk or uh, fucking Dragon Age and shit where you could get you some bang, bang, bang up in there and they don't really shot back the Witcher. You know what I'm saying? Come across games. There's going to be some shit in there I do not want my kids seeing. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, the reason why I brought that to my, you know, my attention, because there's like uh, TikTok, whatever, they got a bunch of videos. Yeah. And they all use a whole bunch of different songs. I'm like, having so much fun with this shit. The one, the one irritating thing that I found. I didn't found, even see what the fuck he was doing. <laughs> you watch it on playback, bro. <laughs> the one thing I found irritating about TikTok is the replay. <laughs> Well, automatically it just replays it. So if you, if it catches a dirty oh, lyric, shit. I hear suck my dick eighteen times. What the fuck? You know you know what I'm Nah, but that's how you would feel how I feel right now, yeah. When your kid doing that shit and you walk in the room and hear that shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, like Oh, I'm just watching TikTok. Well, what yeah. the fuck are you watching to hear that? Mo- you when you you watch that, it, you know what I mean? Like that damn Facebook or not not Facebook ad, that damn YouTube ads and shit. Sometimes when a fucking video comes oh, on, they be bad. Out, and they just be going off. For and so that's what I'm saying. Video. I was like, you know, I, I can tell you're not doing nothing bad. I'm looking at the video, and the video is nothing bad, but it's just the music. So I'm just like at that point, but I'm just like, okay, cool. At the same time, I got my little son. He playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City in the room. That was my favorite game. So, I would say... But they're both rated. Both just like double standards, bro, when it comes to males and females. Some, some shit no, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm saying as in like... I don't know. My son can go around, hop in a random car, steal a car, you know, run people over or whatever. But sex is where you draw the line. But he doesn't know that you can pick up a prostitute. Right. Yeah. But yeah. Well, I mean, well, I get you saying. I get so, you're so I'm saying, like, he doesn't. He's not worried about that. All he's doing is going around having fun. I put a cheat code in for him to have a gun. He gets to go around shooting. Police come. He gets to have the the, the carnage and rampage fun. But there's no cuss words. There's no. You know what I mean? So eh, I feel like there's a different. I don't know. No, I agree with you. I agree with you on that, bro. I, 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 I feel like you're straight. I feel like you're straight. I often say there one the the line of what the rating means is kind of stretched. Back in the day, if you get a T rating, there's certain things that's gonna be in there that's not. You know what I'm saying? Right. So the lines kind of stretched on what they can do in them. But the re the uh, good thing like my pops used to do is like he didn't like if it was something that he knew would be explicit, then. Yeah, nah, y'all ain't watching that shit because you're going to have to do explaining the whole time you're watching that with him. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. But as you get older and get exposed to things and, like, certain things that you start seeing, like, shit that you watch, you, that's why, honestly, most parents should watch shit first before they let they kids That'll be watch it together. <coughs> that, uh, that, too. Because either you know what they're going to see and you be like, okay, this is good for them to watch. Or... As you watching it, when they have questions, no, nah, nah. when they have, when they watch it, they ain't checking shit. They gonna have questions, cause they may not know what it is. So that's why I fuck with my pops, cause he we be watching some shit, and he'll be like, "I right, look, so look, this this is what this mean, by this, this is what this, this is what this, and that, and that. No, you can't do none of that shit. That's not shit for kids. But this, that, and other, cause." They, we gonna be exposed to it, so it's best you teach them, don't you think? You know what I'm saying? Rather than them going out and they learning, because they first, other than that, they first thing of learning is gonna be either the internet or with their friends, and their friends is even gonna be telling what their parents told them, or what they heard through some bullshit, so it's gonna be like, 
oh yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed <laughs> to go grab her on the West Con. That's how you make a girl like you. It's like, nah, fam. That's like, what? Yes or no? Like, yes. look, watching the wood, for example, the the butt grabbing scene, right? Kids watching that with just kids would probably misinterpret <laughs> that scene to mean something else. <laughs> Whether as you watching it as an adult with your kid, you can explain <laughs> that scene a lot better. I agree. You know what I mean? I agree. And so I think that I think Travis said something like that too. It's like that. It's up to the parent to kind of educate them because they gonna figure it out regardless. Right, right. right. Let's see. Damn, I was put the talking. For what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank like you. Said, did this after last week. Travis said you can't hide that stuff from the kids. They gonna find it. It's our job to educate them. It's entertainment, and that it's inappropriate. Inappropriate in certain audiences. Time and a place, basically. Uh. Yeah. The rating doesn't matter in today's technology. That's where you got to you got to get super in, intuitive with your uh, no, parental guidance. Right. It no, don't matter. You got to get super intuitive with your parental guidance and basically yeah. block shit on your own. Like you can't. It's not yeah. like the one thing fits all. Like it used to be on Direct TV oh, yeah. or nothing like that. Some of that shit that'll with be rated oldest? E or whatever like that. Two. You'll see. You'll be like, oh, wait yeah. a minute, hold on. Good luck, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Get that shit up off of there. Or like you'll go like talking about how Disney and them got out of control on some shit. You be like, nah, wait a minute, hold on, nah, change that shit. Nah, we ain't watching that shit. Okay, Portia say I knew parents that didn't let their children. To play games or watch TV in their home until they were 18. I think that's a bit extreme, and they kids are gonna buck, go buck wild when they yeah, get to that's college. Fucking stupid. Because if you, it's the preacher's daughter, it's the preacher's kid uh, mentality. Like if you never let them do anything once, once they, they get, get the opportunity. Yep. And I can tell you firsthand, I seen many people in college. They not huh. built for the shit that they be, but the shit they be doing, they be wild. If you knew what your daughter's nieces, nephews, and shit was doing in college, you would not send them there. I promise. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, let's see. Rachel say I realized I was a hypocrite when I let my oldest watch gory anime because I wanted to have somebody else that was just as hype about it to talk to. <laughs> uh, Rachel, keep keeping it real, Rachel. Hey, look, no, big facts because I tell you, I feel you on that because I did the same shit with my kids. It came out with that other uh, nun. Say, look, my y'all my kids? best friends. We finna watch she this shit to together. Get, I'm, trying to get, I'm trying to get a Mario chainsaw, man. Nigga, we, we went, uh, I don't know. Have you watched a bunch of chainsaw, man? I want the first couple episodes. Okay, there's a lot more. You probably change your mind after the first couple episodes. All right, for sure, best friend. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Believe me, you don't want to. Quincy said I was playing Godfather on PS2 and Scarface. Oh, nope. Nope, never mind. That one ain't going down. Nope. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Out of there. What'd you say? Quincy said, I was playing Godfather on PS2 and Scarface. That's fire. Was y'all playing Scarface? Yeah. That, that was one of his questions. He was like, I know y'all playing Scarface. Yeah, like I mean, high. I was in high school and stuff like that, so like I was old enough by that time to nobody tell me shit, even though I wasn't old enough to buy the game, but yeah. Portia, controlled exposure is a good thing to an extent. Let me tell you something about controlled exposure. You can't control shit. Cause I was in second grade when I found my first porno magazine at school. Tell me how my parents was gonna control that shit. Yeah, yeah. Found them Uncle Luke videos. You know what I'm saying? So tell me how hey, you gonna tell me? And it, I found a magazine. This was before the internet. Tell me how they gonna control that shit. From the hospital. And so now you got friends. They, your friends got a phone. You can hey look. When that two girls one cup shit went around. Again, because well, I, I know it went around for y'all, too. I, I should have a <laughs> seat. again, we had the first round go. That's what I'm saying. It went around again for us, niggas. <laughs> like, it went around for y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all had, it went around. I think I every remember. year, that's how you inducted people in the middle school. It was they showed the new people that you got Bruh. in the middle school. Two girls, one cup. And that's how you got your it middle school. It was when I was in third grade, so you just second grade. Oh, yeah, no, nah, they were doing much. That time, we wasn't allowed to take knowledge. No. Yeah, nah. You, you, you know us, nigga. Third grade? You know us, nigga. We had no technology. Yeah, nah. That was the third grade. They couldn't even have toy guns and shit. Two girls like on that. What's a nerf? Yeah. We could have water guns. Let's see. Don't oh, y'all man, remember? I had a fucking had a fucking Felissa. Fuck. Don't y'all remember they took San Andreas off the shelf and re-released it because of the hot coffee mod? Yeah, I remember that. What happened? The hot coffee mod where you could go in there. Uh, the game you can put in a cheat and they oh, go yeah. in that in uh, St. Andreas where you go in there with your girlfriends and they actually show them in the house fucking you know what I'm saying oh yeah all the game Mike reject them cups and I ain't gonna lie my ass went straight to the crib and 
face to him. This nigga gets up, he runs to the door, he slammed that bitch so hard, the door fell off the hinges, I swear to God. Damn. Slammed that nigga ass door. That nigga this nigga was so hot, he ran out the hallway. He literally went that way, he went that way. He didn't know where to go, he was looking for the person. Boy, he came back in the class and started cussing us out. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Y'all, like, y'all lit the firework. Bro, he was hot because we was talking bad. He, bro, everybody was laughing at my ass on the floor. He, he told me to get the fuck up. He told him, Coach, Coach G, Coach G made me run for this shit. But I was like, Coach, somebody popped the firework. I don't know who the fuck did this shit. Sounded like somebody shot me. I'm hit. I'm hit. Why is that always a funny line, bro? Because of Cat Williams. Yeah. I'm hit. Hit <laughs> that. <laughs> Man, man. in the stretch. I'm in between a rock and a hard place. That's why I will always be funny. Yeah. I was on the floor. Hurt. Get out of there. Oh, shit. I'll eventually tell y'all a story about how we made the Spanish teacher quit. Uh, <laughs> but that's not today. Man, I wish I Damn, had the that's fucked the videos, up. Dog. Prado, <laughs> real quick though, real quick though, y'all, that Witcher 3 do have that new uh, next gen update that is rolling out for free, coming out they very, very soon. Somebody said show, free? Bro. 30 out. Have we talked about that nigga? What? 30 out. The game? The, the, the update. The update. That's cool. We do need. I think we should run that hoe together because I get bored by myself. But I think I would have no. I'm just saying, like, why we like. You know what I'm saying? Like in general, because I don't. I get bored playing it by myself. I don't really care for it. It's not like Cyberpunk for some reason. It's a little bit more difficult to run around and shit. When you got dialogue and shit up on that bitch, probably be a bit more live. That's what I'm yeah, if I got somebody that know what the fuck going on. Who that one legged ugly ass motherfucker running up over there? Just type on shit. Yeah. Uh, but but now nah, the did we ever talk about them recasting uh, Henry Cavill in that yeah. bitch? We, we did. did. Yeah, to the fucking his dude. Down. Okay, so yeah, we did talk about. Yeah, because that shit pissed me off. Oh, okay, so here's one. Let's go he retro like then. Because he was going to the Superman movies. Yeah, we did. We did go there because we were talking about the DC. Oh shit. yeah, I remember reading this. Like, I still though. don't. I still don't fuck with it. I want. I, I want him to finish it. But uh, I, I did too. But y'all, have y'all noticed there's been just this revival? Simple as pull some cups. Have y'all done peep this too? Have y'all noticed Sonic? I'm sorry, bro. Uh, he probably about to get mad as fuck right now. Y'all talking about this bitch ass nigga that wasn't on that platform. Uh, have y'all noticed that like the Nintendo 64 has had like this revival and shit? Like all of a sudden, like the Nintendo 64 has just had a resurgence. I mean, you had the when it when it jumped off with the Nintendo Online thing. That got people back talking a lot more who wasn't like on emulators and doing all of that shit. So right, right. I get so I get that part, but then you got uh the Golden Eye Nintendo 64 yeah. remake co uh, coming out. You got uh new Nintendo 64 the controllers and then it's gonna be on Xbox and Nintendo. What? The Golden Eye. Back right up, now, up all Xbox I know, right now, all I've heard is Xbox, but that's not, that doesn't mean it's only going to be exclusive to Xbox. Y'all very well may get it, and if I was them, I would do that. I would, I would, because the red, whoo! Back in the 2000s, they had wireless 64 controls. And see, and imagine how them hoes going to work now. You want to know I think the resurgence is? The people that are, like, popping. Streamer wise, and the people that are people that fuck you that are probably becoming the um, main, yeah. I don't want to say executives, but what's the thing that's right under executives like the main worker people, the supervisors and shit for like gaming and different things like oh, that? Management. They would be of your age, y'all age. You see what I'm saying? The, to the where, same motherfuckers who brought vinyl back, right? Like they lived and they grew up at that time. So now they like, when they in their meetings of like, where should we go? What should we do with this? They're like, well shit, I know the people that can get income taxes our age. I wouldn't mind Nintendo 64 resurgence type shit. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of makes sense. So it's like, as different ages, that's when you see resurgence of those type of things. I was also thinking the people that, <coughs> that didn't have the money at the time to get it. That now, too. now can and it's super easy access. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's so. I'll give you that because there's games now that even when <laughs> Oh Quincy, you, we, we should get to that in a minute too. What is that? The Xbox 360 classic controller coming back out for Yeah, us. I actually got that down as a topic what? going next. The yeah. brick one? Uh in here. But uh oh, I like that's my favorite.
favorite Xbox. one? Um, the original Xbox. Xbox. The PlayStation. Nah, not that one. 360. The white one with the clunky button. Oh, I agree with you. Fuck Xbox. I, I got a PS5. I play on daily. I would step on both of your toes. I got two of them, so it ain't gonna hurt. I'm gonna try it both. Why can't I only got two? So you wouldn't go for it, so you wouldn't want uh, 360 controller re release for your. Fuck 360 controller. Can you play it on anything? Are they like, uh. So, so you can play it on PlayStation 2? I was gonna say cause, cause they should piss me off. I brought that up already. You want with the podcast? I was gonna say cause honestly, it should be able to if NASA if NASA can use it, PlayStation should be able to. So if I go buy an off-brand Chinese PlayStation controller that looks like an Xbox controller, piss me off. Why we on controllers? Why did Nintendo make that dumbass decision to switch the X and the Y and the B and the A button? Because they're uh, what's the word? Because they shit is basically the Xbox controller, but they switched the X and the Y and they switched the A and the B. And they and they shit is in the ugliest form they want possible. Nintendo controllers have the ugliest button layout. Like I'm not gonna lie, I low key want to get you to get that bitch and show you <laughs> that shit. That shit ugly as hell. Would they do that? Oh uh, yeah. I'm like you, Rachel. I gotta go home and cook. Bro, we're sweating bullets. It's hotter than Santa. Look at the button. Look at the button man. number. Yeah, now you see what I'm talking about. <laughs> you right. Who high ass hey, at Nintendo? Are, my boy, I have a weed for you. Up. you know what I'm Thank you, I like the single. About the moon and the juice. And it's pretty good. good. I like the <laughs> yeah. flow. I like the single. <laughs> what about Topanga? Do the damn thing, man. But, oh. Uh, you guys that hoe gonna see it. Shit, I thought that hoe was gonna be Well, damn, I would've thought it. I don't know that high. I got another one for you. But it, <coughs> which I was talking about as far as the libraries and shit, though. Now that I've been, um, cause nigga, I ain't always had a computer and shit like that. So even back when I had a PlayStation and a Sega Genesis and shit, you know, we we had certain games, but we were just getting games all the time. Like so, there was a bunch of games that even I didn't get to play. So mm-hmm. I'm going back and even playing Sega Genesis games for the first time. Certain PlayStation, PlayStation Two games. Didn't for the have first time, to. didn't have access to them, and the library big than the sum bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because I get surprised sometimes where I go back and you look at a lot of the mainstream titles that are on a lot of shit, and you be like, damn, I done played a lot of they fucking library. And then you go over here to this country, you be like, damn, I ain't playing shit. The other ones I be looking at the old school games, I be like, damn, there's so many fucking alien games. Yeah, that shit I'm was like, super fucking tricky. Damn. Space this, yeah. Invader this, and Zorg this, like and... Home. All that bullshit, yeah, nah, that's just shit, yeah, them so it's some bullshit What's that in the one mix on that. With the free world, and you get to run around as the alien, and then you got those spaceships. Oh, destroy our humans. Yeah, that, that shit was. Actually, cool. they, they got that a new one. Re- they they got new one. That bitch on the thing, that shit. They actually finna do it again. That shit's hard. Man. That'd be a bomb ass movie, a TV series though. I rock with that. Now speaking of, since we getting on like cartoons and type of shit like that, if what if you could revive an old cartoon? Where they were ki- Go ahead ask, ask your question Hey if you can revive An old cartoon But they be older What would you What would you revive hmm. And before y'all Give y'all's answers Me and Archie Already had this conversation Archie picked Oh no 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 Don't tell them what we picked you. Let them give theirs first Let's see if they even Picked what the fuck We picked It would be older Yeah Y'all are older Than us right? Nah I don't give a fuck About what they picked Y'all already know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Phineas and Ferb. Fuck no! Fuck them niggas! <laughs> Fucking high ass niggas. Bored and shit. Me too. Avatar. He's a phantom. There you go, that's what it was. That bitch did Danny Phantom. So he, wants they, so he wants to see Danny Phantom them all grown up. They had one episode where they showed like the future. Y'all think anime? Hey. That nigga Danny. Yo, see, see, that, that nigga bent that shit. That nigga Danny OP. You hear me? He's a phantom. Uh, Alrighty, I knew you would have picked that. What you got? Rachel, that was second. She said Avatar. She said any cartoon. Okay, hold yeah. up. Yeah, I think they actually covered with that. Any cartoon. Yeah, like, any cartoon that was like. They were young or whatever, uh, but the, the characters, when they came, when they brought the TV show back, they were older. Like they did with Rugrats. 
That's so dope. Yeah. No, I wasn't growing up with good in the bitch. I was growing up. I was growing up with good. I would say, uh, what was I think? A cat dog. That's so dope. That nigga want an old ass cat dog? The okay. nigga's older, just like on some Rick and Morty. Two grumpy, shit, we two grumpy men. Cat dog, cat dog. You know, alone in the world with a little cat dog. That's my shit. Alright, so he picked Rocket Power. That shit was really hard. That would be a good one. And then I picked. What else? Brandy yeah. and Mr. Rich. Uh, well, damn, thanks for the dramatic timing. Doug. Well, why, okay, well, why you, why no, you, it wasn't nah, Doug. why you remember I explained why I chose Rocket Oh, Power. I said Kiss Next Door. Okay, that was, there you go. Okay, now, we go, explain <laughs> that on these two, on these two, because for me, I felt Rocket Power would be dope because you could still get their characters as Ooh, they Ooh, wait, were. wait, wait, we got answers. Hold on. Get to the, get to the chat. They got mad answers. Uh, Avatar. Pepperin. Nice. Pepperin, pepperin. <laughs> That's Doug. my shit. Darkwing Duck. Box <laughs> Ghost. Right. Titan talking shit. I do not look like the box ghost that move from the places of the... Nah, I didn't that. That's my nigga, though. Who's that? We ain't getting that. Oh, okay. Uh, Doug. Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. That would be a hard re- uh, revamp. For sure. Rocky and Bullwinkle. Who in her 20s? Bring Isn't back... school no more? Bring back Street Sharks. Ooh, Street Sharks? But I feel like with Rocket Power, though, you can still get the base of those characters from that you got. Nigga, you got just want to see them smoke weed. Nah. <laughs> I mean, that'd be cool, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming to ch- you just know Let us know, what the, <laughs> let us know what the fuck we already know. You know what I'm saying? We already we know it's coming. You know what I'm saying? Give us what the fuck we want. Yeah, yeah, they gonna be getting that shit from Uncle Otto. But you can also get into some real shit as well, though, on there as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could you could get you know, some HBO Max type storytelling. Yeah, because you know they in Hawaii, too. too. Like, you could get you could get real they ass funny Hawaii with that. Too. Like, that'd be a good ass blend. To fucking, I mean, like, as far as I know, they're they in Hawaii. Y'all better A. I'm you saying, give me J.D. Smith. If, I, if y'all ever do Rocket Power, like y'all ever do Rocket Power live action, that's where y'all need to jump to. Don't even try to make them kids and shit like that, doing all that. Do it just like Teen Titans. Do like it like that. the Titans shit on HBO. Booyah, just like that. And then for, uh, he said Kids Next Door. Now, my thing with his, well, hold on, you give it first. I ain't trying to hide that. How the fuck? Shit. No. They lose their powers when they grow up. Exactly. So you want to But it's cool to the see office? the ones we grow up with become. <laughs> so you want to see the office or some shit? Nah, they're going to become the villains. The ones we grew up on become the villains, and now the new kids who coming up in got to go up against their ass because who was once the heroes is now the villains. But are we going to watch it from the perspective of the villains? Now, yes, we, get, no, we need to be both sides. We need to be wired at home. We need to get balance of both sides. Nah, fuck them kids. Fuck them kids. They, that's the problem. Nah, you keep Every up time with they, the ones we grew look, up nah, with. Nah, nah, nah. Every time, actually, I like this. That's my problem with these reboots that they do when they try to bring them back and do shit for us. We grown now, so don't bring back characters that we grew up with and try to sell them to our kids. <coughs> Make, unless they gonna be the, like Raven's home, hey, you selling basically the kids of Raven Baxter to them? Do something like that. Don't revamp my motherfucking people and make them cute and shit now. No, make their kids cute, bitch. Yeah, make our awesome. motherfuckers grown. I want us them niggas to have to cuss now, nigga. I need them to go get them some. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I know a few of the characters so that's on why, fucking what's got number two. Number two, I know for a fact he a trick. You know what I'm saying? I know if for nobody a fact, get no cut I know, in my house. I know for a, if I ain't getting no cut in my house. I know for a fact number two, house. number two gonna have a coke problem, and number two gonna have a little a little spending problem on the um. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah, nah, I ain't trying to see y'all cute and friendly. Too, He's like, a candy all man. All females gonna be thick. No, I want to see females gonna be thick. All females gonna be thick. The Asian one and the black girl, they gonna be. Thick. I want to see that line. Bro, they only be like twelve. The origin story is far more positive. <laughs> but they're not grown. No, we're talking about them growing the fuck up. Oh, okay. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't talking to hell nah. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. I'm talking about Scar, growing up. Scar a bitch ass nigga. And I don't want them. Huh? They gonna make us, because Portia talking about, she said, I want to see that Lion King prequel, the origin story of Scar and Mufasa. Ooh. Um, I, I don't really, I, I do want to see it. Let me, let me not even start this off with no bullshit. But 
They better not that. make. They better not try to make us sympathize with Scar, bro. He a bitch ass nigga. He been a bitch ass nigga. Been yeah. a bitch ass nigga. Ain't nah, bro. He, he, he the reason my nigga. Keep him a bitch ass nigga. You. But even if you gotta make Mufasa, <laughs> even if you kind of gotta be like Mufasa, do some hoe ass <laughs> shit to him, to where he kind of get like a little bit like, okay. Now nah, Mufasa like, needs to be solid. He only gotta do some hoe ass shit because he a hoe ass nigga. Because he don't be exactly because you know he saying? has to do it. Like yeah. bro, you did this shit, so I gotta do this shit but, even though it's fucked up. But, but don't I make gotta me do sympathize with that nigga, bro. Nine. Don't make me sympathize with that nigga, bro. Because if you make me sympathize, you, no. <laughs> you can't make me sympathize with that nigga, bro. Because he's the reason for the saddest scene in history. Nah. I don't give a fuck what you say, bro. Clark Son, said, Simba, Simba trying to wake his daddy up, bro. It's that the saddest shit. Clark that said, "Hey, nigga, remember the remember when I was." Remember the view on the Stomp Him In The Nuts music video? That's how Scar getting stomped the fuck out. As like soon as that. that motherfucker show up, he getting stomped, he fuck out. Hyenas too. Oh, 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 Don't oh. nobody wake up and decide to be a bitch ass nigga. No, yeah, you lying. I know about three. You fucking yeah, lying. You I, know so lying. Lying. I know at least three. I know, I know motherfuckers who born bitch ass niggas. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. I know one right here. Damn, that's nah, fucked up. But I do know, I know, at, I know at least three. And a few of them I have to work with. Always save it just for later. I mean, that's lit. This is the carpet muncher. <laughs> you little cootie. Cl- <laughs> you cootie queen lint liquor. <laughs> I'm not a cootie queen, you lint liquor. Hey, get your teeth all pearly white, too. <laughs> Scar has some shit to sell. Scar, ho ass nigga, ain't hey, you cannibal. Can't walk he ate the other lions. <laughs> I ain't fucking with Scar, bro. Y'all, nah, unfortunately, if you like Scar, that's another thing we got. Hell yeah, he did. Y'all didn't get the bone segment and shit like yeah, that. Those wasn't, no, but we all love the Disney villain, so it's really cool to see why the villain became who the villain. Who loves it? No, fuck him. I'm not a poacher. I ain't, if I, when ever I, ain't got no, I don't like too many Disney villains. I'm blasting his ass. It ain't too many good Disney villains. Hey, I'm like stepping through with a new mink. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, that hanging, bitch, I'm hanging that, that nigga bitch, head why the, on, on over the phone. Come on, bro. Yeah, Real come shit. Come that bitch ass nigga cut her nigga, wings off and stole her like shit. And shit. Like First of all, why the fuck would I care? This bitch is upset she didn't get invited to the baby fucking birthday. Why the fuck would I care about Maleficent? That's a salty old ass bitter bitch. You made her bitter. I didn't make her bitter. She don't need to cut this fucking. It's a baby. That baby ain't even gonna remember. You know what's even more fucked up? Yeah. What you teaching? Oh. Check All right, so no, no, no. So check it. You was, you was. Your shirt has Snoopy on it. Yeah, it does. Cool. Oh my now god. Now do that ugly ass dance Anybody? he do that they did on Family Guy. No, that ain't it. Uh-huh. It's not that one. I thought that was it. <laughs> nah, it's the one that he made Brian do. Well, then you, you show me then. I, I told you to do it. I don't know it. Is it that one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can do that. <laughs> hey, 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 that nigga, he even hold up. If you put that bitch to the right beat, hey, 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 I think that's all that arms right here. All y'all see is arms. I don't like how it's raining because I got something to do after this. And I ain't fucking with it. Oh, that makes so, sense. <laughs> that makes me like, hey, bitch. Y'all, y'all niggas, wherever y'all at, y'all at a Starbucks, picking up you a drink. Okay, pull up. All right. And you just see this. This guy or woman, whatever one you decide to see. Shizzle. Y'all start having a conversation. For shizzle, bizzle. And by the time y'all pick y'all's drink up, y'all are still talking. An hour later, she gets done, y'all get done with y'all's conversation. And they say, hey, I'm a dean at a college. I would like to offer you a job to teach at my college. What I'm teaching. Off the conversation that y'all had. What was your conversation and what are you going to go teach about? Philosophy. I ain't gonna lie, if it's something like that, we probably was just sitting talking about a bunch of deep shit, and then they be like, you know what, I like the way you think, you can come into, you know what I'm saying, just talk, you know what I'm saying, that right. type of shit, yeah, yeah, I would have that type of, you philosophy, yeah, yeah, yeah. alright, I'm, soc- I'm soccer please, no, you, I would hopefully be talking about sports, and they want me to be like an athletic director, let me tell you how to whoop a motherfucker in like mad, beat, uh, fucking, hey, yeah, yeah, and you know what's crazy in college? You know y'all picking me in college, bro. Oh, uh, no, nah, I've been saying what's crazy. I just make it that bread. That's actually yeah. a fucking class, too, what you just said. What the nigga in Madden? Game game and shit. Oh, God. <laughs> We're going to have to come down to eSports. You know what I mean? With what he said, though, I mean, if you were like, if you're doing like a physical ed type class or something like that in college, bro, that's an easy type of bread win, bro. 
Like, while you may be more athletic than a gym class would be in high school or middle school or some shit like that, bro, that's still like a cakewalk ass what you paycheck. Doing PE in college. in college. Oh, yeah. Nah, you should teach. And honestly, it's like, it really is just, it's like, you teach a little bit of weightlifting, do some extra shit, have them run a little bit. How many of y'all niggas want to go who? Them hoes, so, I'm just saying, it's so chill. But Too like, bad we doing it the, today. Hey, anyway. I need all the bad bitches running. They like, got a test. Hey, they you gotta, know what I'm saying? Divide up, dodgeball. Who bro, getting knocked the fuck out? Like, hey, the my test, bro, be lifting a bitch. Like, bro, for real. And the way they say, yeah, you yeah. set, you set you your said. own test up, so you had to take the test because you gotta have grades and shit like that. And the college campuses got bread too, so you actually got nice setups. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta just kick ball like, What's out. What's up with it, clutch? Fast field, you already. Hey, same. You know what I'm saying? Isaiah, this motherfucker. What's up with the clutch? Hold up, then, bro. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna be in the gym with us playing dodgeball. At a Starbucks. Portia, Make you sure your about? ass is where y'all be done. meeting at with the conversation. Where would we be meeting? I'm saying you were at a Starbucks picking up some drinks and having a conversation. Oh, okay. okay. That makes sense. What you teach? Me? Yeah. I'm probably going to teach people how to be Ha ha ha! I'm like, let's dance or Why do two fat niggas want to choose that lady? Or, you know, I've talked to them about growing fucking plants and people being like the oh, yeah. FFA shit. Do you want to be in uh Future Farmers of America? Fuck, uh, the, the, it's not. I mean, agriculture. Agriculture, yeah, yeah. agriculture yeah. but there's another one that uh, fucking that uh Method Man you took it in uh in medicine. how high? I forget what it was. Body <laughs> Herbal medicine or some shit yeah. like that. Herbal science or some. How shit. How else like would people enhance their body without shame? I don't have a fat body. I don't got a dad bod. I'm well fed. I ain't starving. Well fed too, motherfucker. Well, you look like you I just fed you, motherfucker. <laughs> you seem to be fed. You say it's gonna bust through the green screen. <laughs> okay, truly. <laughs> <laughs> Call him up there. All right, so we got that. I mean, let's get up on this mall. Horticulture. That's what you got it first, but that's what. Uh, uh, Portia just said. Okay, bam. There you go. Thank you for throwing <laughs> I up. I like that. Or the culture. <laughs> Wait, she spelled it with the W H O R? Damn. <laughs> well, not the W, it's just H, but either way, I got it. Ah. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, shit. <gasps> Let me see how this looks. Bitches in the streets. Actually, though, I mean. Maybe we could cool. Buddy. The buddy. Who's my buddy? Hey, buddy. The four clot. My buddy. Call me now for your free reading. Damn, but you don't dude, hear me. You don't hear me. I'm practicing. <laughs> Kevin K. <Kane. laughs> who, who, who's the father of the baby? <laughs> All right, let's get up on this marble. I'm practicing. Okay, where are we starting? I don't Save have. this ball for last, because I'll leave. <coughs> All right, we will say Black Panther for the end. You ain't watched it on your phone yet? <laughs> ah, bitch, you said the same shit he said. No, he didn't know. I mean, shit, if you don't care about none of it. Why would I not? All right, let's start with some funny shit first. Quentin Tarantino says Marvel actors aren't movie stars. Captain America is the star, not Chris Evans. <sighs> okay, I get what he's saying. Y'all smell that? Bullshit. Nah, smell like a hater to me. No, I get. No, it depends on the context that you actually listen to what he took to where he's taking it though. I get where he's. I get where on the surface of it, I can see how everybody would be like Quentin Tarantino. You full of shit. Nah, he but, full of shit, bro. Nah, nah. Hold on. Let me let me explain. Let me let me explain why. Okay. Because it's Captain America. It's the Hulk. It's Wolverine. <laughs> and shit, and the fan. You know what I'm saying? So what he's saying is, is that even when you take Chris Evans out of it, you could throw almost anybody in those roles, and that shit still get over. False. Well, yeah, I totally disagree. No, but no, I, just, I said almost anybody. Yes, you could put some wrong people in there, but you can go more right than you can go wrong. Niggas didn't go to Iron Man for Iron Man. Niggas went for Tony. I mean, for Robert Downey Jr. Okay, but you telling me Jr. Niggas, Bob niggas, play him? no. Niggas, he tried. He in the fucking Marvel Universe. Do you even give a fuck about the movie he in? 
Well, I mean, because do, the character now, I, 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 do you even give a fuck about the movie he in? If he's a fucking star, do you give a fuck about the movie he in? Because there's certain people that eat that shit up. Like who the fuck we just watched? What? Who the fuck? Who the fuck did we just watch? That ain't the star of the movie, but ate that bitch up. Talk about it all. Nigga, we literally just watched Oh, it. okay. I see what you're talking about. Look, that's different, though, because that person got... That's a star, Damn it, nigga. Fuck, I can't fucking say... But, but that's a star. We can, we can say it's Angela Bassett. He, no, okay, but he didn't He didn't get thrusted well, Angela up Bassett the, is the next Black Panther? No, no, no. no. But, 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 she, he, but she she ate the but movie. No, but to be fair, though, Jude Law's character didn't get thrusted into that type of spotlight though. but she was ah, still nah. but Angela Bassett was still that she was still her in the first one too though she was she ate up her scenes in that one like if you want to like when you think when you Black Panther ball, we I didn't go niggas didn't go to see Black Panther for Black Panther they went niggas are crying right now and they didn't recast the nigga not because it's Black Panther niggas Chad with fucking Bozeman they just gave that nigga a whole fucking movie so I mean that's why it's, I say it's fucking hating, and then I think I saw okay, something else that was you, like. You don't think your dude from Burn Notice with the facial hair could have pulled out Tony Stark? No, I don't think he would do it. No, that, and that's the thing where he says like these niggas ain't like they, these niggas not start. No, because especially after they fucking played him, these niggas made the fucking role. Like these niggas, because fucking saying, Chris Evans, if he wasn't a star, they wouldn't have called him fucking back for some shit. You don't think Johnny Depp could have played Tony Stark? Hell no. Bro, you got me Johnny Depp could have played a could could have played with the a with the no. Slant. He could have played the what? He with the drip and everything, bro. He could have played a he could have played a he could have played a nice Tony Stark. But that's the thing. It's I not about see it's not Johnny about Johnny Depp play that, fucking Hulk. His he's saying that he, Captain America was a star, not Chris Evans. Niggas. Crying. I feel no. I feel like he 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 went for, he went for the wrong character. Usually, like he he he's, he's reaching to an extent. Like I yeah, get, I get what he's him. saying. Like nigga, like Marvel is what's selling right now. But nigga, you, you when Marvel the wrong one, Marvel to make is he selling. Chose, he chose the wrong person to make his point. Marvel with that. Marvel is selling their movies by the cast. The first thing you hear about a movie is, is who got the part. Exactly. So what the fuck are you trying to tell me? They not fucking movie stars. Mahershala Ali got the fucking. They got us tripping about Blade before he even. But can, okay, hold talk, on. He ain't even gave us an accent yet, and niggas was like, "Hell yeah, we fucking with this movie." You can't say that they not movie stars going into these roles. You see what I'm saying? I agree with you. Niggas don't care. Niggas ain't coming to watch these shit. How for many what's people? Driving. How many people? How many people got? How many people were even while the, take out that they've been in other stuff? How many people through the MCU did you get introduced to by the MCU? Hold on, Is, I have a question. Like, like, ask, yeah. like the first time you saw, like you got introduced to an actor through the MCU. How many did it? Like how many did they did you get introduced? So it's, wait, it's, so it's, it's, yo, it, so your introduction makes you. It yeah. just it's just makes just no, it's just to prove a point. Okay, is Robert Pattinson a star? Yeah, he, he was a star before Batman. He was a star since Twilight. No, but did he sell the, the Batman or did Batman, Batman name sell, Batman. sell the Batman movie when people went to the theater? Batman's name sold Batman. Uh, I think that was a battle to both, honestly. Mm-hmm. I think his name because is I saw a lot of shit. I've been sa- thank you. Nah, because I saw a lot of shit. They was like, they was like, uh, yeah, the girls y'all had him back then, but. He's ours now. No, I like, no, I'll you know give no, I'll give you the no. He has, he it's does a, have, it he weird, has no, he, he, he does saying. have his dude fan. And not even that, that before, even before on. Batman, that nigga has his own movie. So it's like, does a comic book movie draw a different crowd? Yes, but nigga ain't going to watch a movie about a nobody just because of an actor. You have to build up a fucking. Cry, you have to build up a, you know, what's People the repertoire? Know, but but I, 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 I'll give you, I'll give you another, I'll give you another one, because we both, in, in reality, we both right. Uh, Andrew Garfield on when he did Spider Man or whatever. People, regardless what the reviews were and shit, people still flocked to the theater to see it. Why? Because it was Spider Man, not because it had anything to do with him. People don't even remember the project that he was in before that. I know everybody goes to. The uh, Dark Knight being Heath Ledger's last movie, it really fucking wasn't. That Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus or whatever shit that he did was his last. That was his last movie that he did. And that's what he was in. That's what introduced me to him in the first place. But a lot of people didn't know that going into that movie. They went to the movie to see it just had Spider-Man's name on it. So there are cases where that is the case, where just the name will sell it. And then there are cases where... 
the person playing the character is what's gonna draw motherfuckers to is what's gonna draw people to the uh, to the cinemas to see. You see what I'm saying? To an extent. Yeah. But when Marvel starts pulling it out when Marvel starts pulling out the ass characters Damn. and they make you care for Guardians of the Galaxy. Niggas that no, that that's the that's the point where I said we both right because that's where you're right because the cast that they put in those spots is what make you care about characters or motherfuckers who they didn't even read their comic books before they even got to that series. You know, Batista's, okay. Batista's getting shit off of it. You know what I'm saying? Big facts. Big and facts. Like they're making movie stars from Marvel. You know what I'm saying? Now they may not come. A lot of so them, you would say Batista was not a movie star before he came to Marvel. No. Movie star? No. Fuck no. What? Movie, bro. He had a few. Yeah. He had a. He had a few hits. under his belt, bro. But his he was. Ain't no, hits, he didn't. He didn't no, have no blockbusters no, yet, bro. He wasn't doing no personal he, blockbusters on like he no to where he movies, where he bro. had like man multiple. Man with the Iron Fist was a blockbuster. Man with the Iron Fist. Yes, Man that with the Iron Fist was a blockbuster. Does he have any did awards he for that? Yes, he did. I thought that was the nigga starting in there. No, Rizzo was the main person in there, but he, his character was still a recurring part in yeah, there. Yeah, no, that's big, not what I'm talking about. No, I'm saying, big, I no, get that. No, of, I get that. He had he had his secondary wrestling roles that they would get that nigga as a wrestler because they all got them hoes early. Yeah, after he got fighting in that get, I get it. But after he got that Drax role, that nigga got a motherfucking solo in theater trailer type shit of the little body go basically a pacifier you just type made remake. The point though, because Mar- Marvel's name and shit is what did that and opened it, those doors for him. It created a movie star. He's the man of the Iron Fist. He's still a movie star now. He's not Drax. He's Batista in whatever the fuck he chooses to play now. You see what I'm saying? So granted, initially it may it may not like. It may start the movie roles for some people. Like, okay, now this is the movie stardom for some people. But that nigga just sound like a hater, bro, because, bro, your movies are the same. No, 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 hold on, no, no, no. I don't want to. I don't. No, no, no. I I'm going to rag because you go out. We go out the show. No, no, no. Okay, no, because no. Me. I, okay, no. Now Quentin Tarantino's movies. Now while he what he's saying is some bullshit. I, I can't get I'm in. I'm not and saying they the bad. Thing. Every time I see here Quentin Tarantino, all they let do is niggas sit in the toilet. Nah, bro. His, his movie, his movies all legit, bro. He's he is no, a he is a great legit. he's a he's a great writer, yeah. But I gotta say they this drill, right they here. Similar. I feel like One I feel like pony. I feel like no no actually I did I disagree I disagree on that too. But what he's good the thing right here that makes him sound like a hater and where I feel like he's just trolling because he's had multiple comics where he's come out. And then he's yeah, exactly. He said he he'll do he Hall and still, Commandos, I think is what he said. He would still he would still do one, so it's kinda one of those. He would do Hall and Commandos, the, the the army troop of Captain America, the, the little army group that Captain America was fighting around with in World War Two. He said he would do a Hall and Commandos. Who would? Of Tino. course he would with his racist ass. He's gonna do some shit with some Nazis in it. Nah, I'm sorry. Bro, but I don't know when you again when you watched the way we was just watching it before we came. And all on the other here. shit he got with Nazis in is pretty good. I'm nah, just but saying. I mean we was watching Jack uh, Brown before he went, and I'm telling you, you nah, he's, 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 he's nice. Like, he's, he's nice, just, but I just feel like when it comes to this genre, it's right. also it's trendy. That Marvel because of that, remember that fatigue shit we've been talking about gonna, for a we, while. We gonna get to it since people with that, and I've been noticing a trend Seven. with directors. It's like the hate when it Ooh, comes to movie. like whether it's, it's Kanye or. You know what I'm saying? Or like different shit at just other different times where there right. were different points in times where, remember, you know it when it gets to the point where it's trendy to hate on something yeah. or a specific something? That's where I feel like it's getting with Marvel because if you notice around, you got people who we even respect. James Cameron, Terminator, Avatar, and shit like that where everybody's starting to rag on these Marvel movies and shit like that and it's like... That nigga dude was salty because his motherfucking Avatar movie got beat. He was so fucking salty that they had to re-release that fucking movie in theaters. And, and that's where it's that's what irks me. All these classic, you know what I'm saying, uh, direct, like, art people and shit. You've already made your name. You are who you are. You did the Titanic. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, why so are you... Walk of Fame, all that shit why already. The what the fuck, fuck are you seeking for? are you crying about some shit that you can never do? Real shit. Because if you could do it better... You would. I give props to James Cameron because at least Ron he, Howard to no, do some Marvel. I give ja- I at least give James Cameron the props of at least he's innovating the game when it comes to the technology and at least trying to do new stuff. So it's like, hey, 
like we saying, if you gonna talk your shit, at least bring something to the table. Hey, because you can easily shut niggas up. For real, this way I'm gonna go see this new yeah. Avatar movie. I'm but gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm if, gonna if, see this if, bitch. If, 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 if you call on his face, movie, guess what? We gonna roast your nah, ass and let you know that nah. that shit was trash, bro. And you need to shut the fuck up and get like Marvel. But if that shit's off the chain, hey, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying but it's like, maybe he what? may be on to something. Twenty could learn something from him. Not Quinn. If them hoes bad, make a good one. If the comic book movies are bad, make a good one. Show us what they're supposed to be. Because as far as I know, you ain't never touched them hoes. Why are you scared to touch them hoes? You know, and I, but I've also noticed this too with the dude who did the uh, Watchmen comics uh-huh. and shit. With the, and they, they seem to be around the same age of these directors who we talking about where they don't like certain shit being touched. Or remade anything like they be wanting some shit to just stay. Certain books. iterations are yeah. set in stone. They, don't they fucking like, change they, it. They be like, I made my shit to be in the written format. Leave it like that. Don't touch my shit. Da 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 da. Do this that. And people even do that with stuff that's not theirs. Shouldn't have published. You know what I'm saying? Shouldn't no, that's why Tom. That's why we never got another fucking spot. But I'm movie. saying like the Quentin because Tarantino's and the James Cameron. I'm pretty sure they done read the X Men comics and all this shit. They grew up loving this shit. Right. And like they're so tribal. Like no, leave it in that format. Don't don't touch it. Don't fuck with it. Just like people don't want to see Ghostbusters remade and all this other type shit. Nah, you know fuck that. Give me a whole other Ghostbusters. Uh, that shit's always gonna fly. I mean, fly. And you know what? I even take an R-rated Ghostbuster. Maybe actually need to fucking go. Like, give me an R-rated Exorcist Ghostbusters. That should be dope as fuck to see. I think. Like HBO Max team up across the fucking. If you don't want people to fuck with it, don't publish it. No, Todd McFarlane, when he came out with Spawn, they gave him... They had, fucked this shit up, though. Right, and it fucked it up, but we, it felt had a cult following after it came out. But, but after that came out and then got fucked up, that's why we never got another one, because he, he wants somebody it, he to help. Down, and that's well, what, he needs to wait. Well, he's no, right, no, he wants he somebody to, to help, but he wants full control. Nobody's telling that, me and, and shit that's, about and, this. And that's, that's why he put his money where his he's mouth right. is. No, you're, but that's yeah. what you're supposed to do as a creator. If you want... That's a control. You hold that control and you do it. Because you can't say as an artist, like... Don't get mad because you took the money early and now somebody else got control of your shit and can do something with it. And you don't want your shit fucked with. You should have done a better fucking deal, bro. And I I, I refuse to believe that people would put something Mm -hmm. in written form and say it's it's never meant to touch, like, visual. Because... I agree, for real. Because that's the whole point of making it. Everybody isn't reading. Everybody doesn't like to read. And that's the first thing I'm thinking... And since day one, that's the first thing I'm thinking when I read a comic. Bro, what would this shit look like? Look like, like, yeah. Right, but I, I totally agree with that. Because how many times have you had a vision of somebody when you're reading a fucking book for just for them to actually show what that shit look like? And you like, motherfucker, that's not what you look like in my head. <laughs> I can tell you right now, my one that I'm waiting for now is Marvel Zombies. Yeah. The part bro. to where Magneto's the last motherfucker alive and Captain America jumps at that motherfucker. And Magneto goes, ah, oh, you brought your shield. Sheik. And just get that motherfucker. See, <laughs> just cut the nigga top off. Oh, I just, I just, oh. bro. I, uh, just show me that. Fuck. Oh, uh, I forgot what I was gonna tell you about before that. Oh, uh, <laughs> shit. Fucking headlines are hilarious. <laughs> what up? I just see that the headlines and my notifications. Oh. And yeah, that's making me click shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Bless you. Already Ghostbusters <laughs> sounds fire. Yeah, nah. And honestly, a Ghostbusters <laughs> series is the best way to handle that. And, and and this is and this is like a case of the day type of thing. And if you do HBO Max to where you can go, you know what I'm saying, go gory and all that extra shit, cool. But I would love that as a case of the day, like a Nancy Drew type show with the Ghostbusters and shit. I'm just saying that just because you get like, you know what I'm saying, the every day you gotta find another Scooby Doo. Even you want to think about it type shit. But What's that Scooby Doo crossover with Courage the Cowardly Dog yet? I ain't watched it though. Is it funny? <laughs> Oh we shit, we still Marvel. Marvel. Uh, Marvel's Blade hires Lovecraft, Lovecraft Country director yep, and shifts yep, a darker yep. and grittier take on MCU. I'm with it already. It's official. That movie gonna go off the chain then. I, I ain't doubting shit. That's yeah. official. Uh, official. official. Marvel. Marvel fatigue is rapidly growing according to new study. You see, according to new study conducted by fandom as reported by Variety, reportedly over one third of Marvel fans are feeling fatigued by the MCU's constant stream of theatrical and Disney Plus content. The study has also found that 
Oversaturation is much less of a problem for the DC Universe, which sees significantly fewer theatrical and streaming releases than the MCU, as only 20% of DC fans say they feel fatigued by their respective franchise as opposed to the 36% of Marvel fans. The extensive study was conducted by surveying 5,000 entertainment and gaming fans between 13 and 54 years combined with what fandom calls proprietary insights from its own platform, which has over 30 million monthly users. First of all, that's a dumbass number. I hate being good with statistics and shit, because that number don't mean shit compared to the actual fucking world. They say they only tested 5,000 motherfuckers, and 36% of 5,000 was fatigued. So, that's not even adjusting for... One, that's a small group of population compared to what the and fuck. You could easily come across a slighted ass amount with that small ass. Depending on where it was, what they watching group. and shit like that. So, what the fuck? Some motherfuckers love to be cynical <laughs> now. They just love to fucking troll. They only like to sell the negative shit. And thirty six percent is not even a majority for people to be like, oh, they tired. Nigga, thirty six percent ain't even gonna cut their profits. Like, they gonna be straight off of that. How the fuck shit. they gonna be? Fa- how they gonna be fatigued and then they? Uh, Black Panther just beat out <laughs> Black Adam after Black Adam he got celebrated for you know what I'm saying doing it like fatigue where that's what I'm saying like where? what you, what and it's like what are you Who? compared it to and this shit like that I do want to see Black still, Adam too though Disney Plus Disney Plus still running up numbers and shit on they show so I don't like, I never understood where? I never understood oversaturation in the type of world we live in now when everybody's so micro dose and micro dose and micro dose because it's like if you don't watch it now. You can watch it later, probably by Plus. now. What? I get that. I just yet. say when you do that, take into account the people who are following your product when you do that. Because that oh, can, yeah. that can, you know what I'm saying? For sure, you like, should have at least real. a good amount of space. Right, but other than that, though, then nah, I'm good. But even then, saying. no. I'm not mad at it. I would never, I just, if, if I feel like somebody I fuck with is putting out too much music for me. It's like, damn, bro, you just dropped there, bro. You be a young boy. I just, break for a minute I I just boy. I'm just going to listen to the album I, I like. Okay, I like, like, with Gates. All right, shit. He dropped a bunch of music, but I like Eastler right now. So, shit, I'm listening to Eastler. I ain't listening to nothing else but Eastler, god damn it. You know what I'm saying? Then, when I feel like, I'm like, oh, shit, he dropped, like, eight singles. Well, now I got some music to listen to now. You see what I'm saying? That's how I see that. I don't see it as, oh, he should wait till I want to hear it. Nigga, fuck. Do you get mad when they drop singles and they don't put them on the album? I prefer that. I don't want you to put your single on the album. Yeah, because that shit get, I get frustrated because when I'm listening to an album, bro, anytime I hear the radio single, I skip right past it. Nigga, I, that's like putting a trailer out and then having the, what you put out for the trailer not on the fuck. Nigga, this, I, is, I, not, I, okay, I, okay, this is not 2002. I ain't gonna lie. I would prefer to not see anything from... I want you to put out a trailer that's not in the movie. I like when Marvel fucks up the trailer. And they be putting out that things. Wild. Don't because worry about it's like what the fuck I eat. I don't worry about the fuck y'all. Because it's the same. It's the same reason. It's the same reason you don't like watching trailers. You don't want spoilers, right? So give me hype for the movie without showing me anything in the movie. Boom. You see what I'm saying? No. And that and long now as, I fell in love with something that I know I'm not gonna get. But you can. Get but it. you can get it what's without the, getting the same thing type. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? What's you stopping you from listening? What's stopping, what's stopping you from listening? You're having to? too much fun. <laughs> what's stopping you from listening to? It? Cause it's not on the album. Okay, but all you know is soon as with the way we got music now, you could have that whole album on a playlist, add that song to that no, playlist, and, 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 and you can have that. You can have music like that. And you actually all those plays. I don't have a Spotify. I don't have a Pandora. You download music. music, don't you? No, you download. Um, no, you download music. Oh, but you can. Yes, you do. You download music. Shit. You show me. Yes, you do. Oh, yeah, you download shit. music, motherfucker. You yes, have I do. I do download music. You go. The album is mine. I don't gotta pay no streaming service. Exactly. So you put that album. And then you put this other song together like you had with those 45 little playlists that no. you showed me when we was going to the game, nigga, nah, nigga, I saw it. Right there, bitch, right <laughs> you can't there. lie to me today. To we done. not gonna deal with your bullshit, Kevin. I saw your playlist. But uh, I think I think the only time it doesn't irk me because like if the single is telling a story in the music, like all the songs go together, cool, keep it in there. But if you just got a single, a radio hit, like, uh, what was it? Ad, 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 you know 
what I'm saying, by Big Sean, that ain't gonna fit nowhere in your fucking album, bro. You just Stop. you just threw that out because I'm waiting, listen. Cause you ice is back. No, I, I, I thought you were gonna say it make that ass motherfucker. I've been saying y'all niggas do five saying, different songs out of me right here. <laughs> <there. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but if so, it's like if it doesn't have anything to do, uh, I don't mind. But that's, that's basically what I'm saying. If it's a, if it's just a throwaway song, keep, leave that shit out the album and just give me a good album. Because now it feels like I didn't. I'm not rebuying something. You see what I'm saying? I already paid for the thing. Now I don't feel like I'm rebuying it. Uh, that's the Marvel fatigue. We don't really care not too much. Uh, ooh. Mephisto doesn't have the, uh, this shit was funny to me. Mephisto's tactics in Marvel comics aren't what you might expect. His current focus is on famine relief, disease control, and other work that improves life expectancy on Earth. This is because those who die young are more likely to go to heaven, and by ensuring more people live longer, uh, live longer lives, the more chances they have to commit sins that will send them to hell. I love fucking comic books, bro. That's fucking cold. This thing. nigga saves lives because they got to live long so they can come <laughs> You bound the fuck up. <laughs> you bound the fuck up. I man. won't be there, but he <laughs> will. I wonder how I wonder how Homelander would say this prayer and all that. How you you know what? Would he be able to pull them? Would he pull them? That would be you interesting. Do you think he would? Would he be able to pull them? Uh... Ooh. Nah, nah, he, nah, he, he, he gonna fuck with Homelander. I think Mephisto will fuck with Homelander. He gonna let Homelander do what the fuck he wanna do, cause everything he does just brings more to him. He ain't gonna let him kill as many kids. Nah, fuck that. They need to go ahead. Who is Mephisto? Uh, Marvel Mephisto, Satan. Bro, Marvel Satan. Basically. Uh, he is a. Uh, yeah. I mean, you're making me think of the, the red. He got the horns. Uh, Powerpuff Girls. Something like that. That's yeah. who. That's who Sasha Baron Cohen is supposed to be playing. Right? Right? Boy, oh, fuck. Really? No. Yes. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, it'll be a, supposed to be for, they did, they did bro, cast, bro. He actually the did. The Disney movie. Okay, they, cool. They did yeah, cast, bro. Nah, he, he going to hit the house. He, like, I, think, I think he's going to be able to snap it because he can get real when he want, when he want to get real. Oh, Rachel, we going to get on Wakanda forever soon. Trust me. Hold up. I have to go watch that hoe again with these niggas. <laughs> Why? what else we got? Uh, nah, that's it. I thought that was just that was the phone. All right. Oh, what's this? When we talk to Wakanda? Oh yeah, I guess this will be Wakanda forever. Where I'm from? No. You have to exclude Buddy for a second. You're gonna hear everything in this. No, I won't. First off, Namor is the best part of the movie. Man, fuck Namor. Namor is probably the best part of the movie. Did you hear Damien Lacruz uh, wanted to play that role or had offered to play that role? The nigga who ran around with Dominic for a recent news. I don't know. I don't care. Uh, something Tenok Tichlon or whatever my bro name is. That's fucking Namor. Uh, he had some scenes that were kind of movie had. fucking star. He did, I don't. Yeah, he hey, had, hey. yeah. There was the, like there was a couple like spots that were shot. I think it was like uh, on the throne where he was sitting over there on the throne doing something. That was like okay, and that could have been executed a bit better. But overall, yeah. solid though. That nigga, that nigga is that, the, was, the was, writing was, for uh, him. The writing for him, the way they switched up his backstory, because that nigga, his backstory isn't Mayan or as, or any of that. It's some other shit on yeah. another side. He's from Atlantis, so the way they did it to distinguish it from Aquaman, <laughs> they pulled off the feathered feet, bro. They pulled off the feathered fucking feet, bro. They said mutant in a movie, not just a Disney Plus show. They actually yeah. said mutant in a movie. We getting mutants. He's the first one. We gonna get them bitches soon. Uh, what the fuck, bro? Kevin, I guarantee you, you put those headphones on, you won't hear shit. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you, you put those headphones on right there, you won't hear shit. You won't shit. hear nothing. Shuri. Put those headphones on, those white headphones. You put them on, you ain't gonna hear shit. Trust me. I was, me. I was very strict of Shuri the first time Shuri, viewing it. I was very strict of Shuri the first time viewing it. Because there was pieces... That I didn't too much grasp the first time I watched, and it pissed me off. Okay, what was that? Why the fuck? One. Fuck, I'm Louisiana. She was too fucking angry. I did. I did. I. Well, she, I first, she had a. She, first off, she had a lot to. So be you angry didn't get. You didn't hear that first. Why she was so angry? But yeah. you got it the second time. Yeah, but and her delivery of her anger wasn't the strongest. Okay. 
know what I'm saying? And maybe it's because she's trying to put on a different accent. She's trying to put on a different accent because she's, I, I want to say she has a British accent normally. And so she has to try, you know what I'm saying? She's putting on a different, another, but another But nah, it's just accent. that she has more lines. And this one than what she I'm did. used to. And, 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 and the I other think one, she was just there for her little quickness. So it's like, yeah, okay, you just real quick with it. You can nail it. They really you made her. carry more lines. It's like, they, you got to be a whole lot more natural, fluent with it. Yeah, they really made her have to, she like she had to carry it, but I'm glad she had a good supporting cast because Angela Bassett was the strongest part of the fucking movie. Yeah. I hated that they killed her too. Just because it was like a double whammy. You started off with the child of dying and then you kill her too. Yeah, that kind of that I don't think that landed emotionally the way they wanted it to or the way it was. No, it did. To. Yeah, I think it did. Because the I, whole movie about grief. And then when I, it felt less than to me when she watch, died, it was like damn, watch, but it was like watch it, damn, watch it, kinda, watch you know it. What I'm saying like I didn't just fully feel like it didn't really like oh damn they hit like it was like damn that's fucked up, but watch, it wasn't just second like, time. You know what I'm saying that second just second go watch it again, and you still gonna feel the emotion, but when Mbaku come and turn and talk to Shuri, and this is what makes me give Shuri a little bit more more relief because I do understand that. So when M'Baku was like, the world has took it too much for you for me to look at you like a child. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, damn, that's a cold ass line. She literally, Civil War lost her daddy. This movie, she lost her fucking brother. And then she just lost her mama again. She, this whole movie, she dealing with grief. Cool, I can fuck with it. It's making a whole bunch of more sense now. Now let's get to the motherfucking spoiler and cameo of the goddamn movie. They brought fucking Killmonger into that bitch. And I know for a fact, on first list, on first watch, I was sitting here like, what the fuck? Why the fuck did they, what? No, bro, y'all just doing shit because, bro, nah, it's, bro, y'all should just recast this nigga, save and wait time for the movie or whatever. But I picked it up the first time, but I didn't want to fucking accept it. The second time I did accept it, he is dead. If he's an ancestral plane, he's for sure dead. They're not bringing him back. Which the, I, that's fine, cool. You don't really need to bring him back. But when she was talking to her mama and they was talking about, she was like, if I sit and think about my brother for too long, I'm going to want to burn the world. I was like, okay, cool. This nigga. They sound, she sound like Killmonger when she said that shit. Yeah. And he was like, when she did that, that's when you chose me. And saying that thing early in the movie, they kind of like brush past or whatever like that. They come back and reference that shit multiple times throughout the movie. Right. You know and, what I'm saying? Like, and that, oh, you better own that shit. But after she fixes the herb, that didn't, I didn't quite understand that at first either. When she first fixed it and she was pissed off when she first got back, I was like, it fucking worked, bitch. Why is you not? But... You got to put it into context. She don't believe in, in the traditions from the jump. So when everybody telling her, oh, when you go to an ancestral plane, you're going to see your, your mama, you're going to see T'Challa, you're going to see your dad, blah, 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 blah. She thinking, bet, one, I got to fix this shit. So when she fixes it, she takes it, and she goes and sees Killmonger ass. It's like... She wanted to see everybody else. She, she well, that's what she, she expected. She that's expected what traditions tell her. Not knowing that's that she... That's not what she was supposed to see. Exactly, she, and she thinking based on tradition, she supposed to see them, but now nah, you seeing what you was called, so she thinking it's not working. So when she comes out, she like, man, that shit didn't fucking work, boo, 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 even though she is stronger. So she is still in the mindset of vengeance, you know what I'm saying, as she going. So it's like, okay, I can kind of deal with it. And the way she was talking to Mbaku was like, this nigga just cut you a whole bunch of slack. But I'm kind of like, she's a little bit high off the new herb, you know what I'm saying? So she's still off that vengeance. She ain't shut down yet. Cool. I like that she got her ass kicked by Namor. That's probably the best part of the movie. Yeah, because she wasn't supposed to win. Hey, she ain't ready yet. What she ain't fuck? no fighter. She ain't. Yeah, I, like that she wasn't supposed to be there yet. She, even her character, look, she, resi she relies on her wits and the ways that she's able to modify. Like she modifies the. She Last one. She modifies, she modifies the hell out the suit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, the suit's doing shit that it wasn't even doing with the child. She so got a lot of technology yeah, more involved. She a whole lot of perks and shit versus her just straight up. Yeah, she can maneuver and shit like that. But when it comes to see, her actual skills. Rachel kinda, say she don't like how she, eats, how she how easily she beat Namor by herself. Man, that shit was hard. Bro. He's a god, bro. Let no, you, he's not a god. They call him the Cuckoo Khan, but he's just a mute. 
the only I'm okay. reason she won is because she took that nigga out of his his, his element. Own element. Yeah. Nah, you know they did. Saying? He was in the heat because it's, and it's, he couldn't handle that shit. He needed some water. They, they did. Breathe. They yeah. did all that right. They yeah. trapped him in the fucking ship. They dehydrated him. Then they got to the desert and she was beat. So, but she she was even with him being dehydrated. He still could have won. Though. He was fucking her up. He fucking damn near her killed up. her oh, when he like stabbed, stabbed her and shit like that. Her. And he, for the most part, he got her. And if she didn't do a little bit of her extra shit and use the ship to blow him with more fire and shit, she would have lost. So I like the way they wrote how she won. <laughs> as long as he didn't die from that explosion, because that was the only thing. That, that's I thought what she made was, me, I thought that was gonna that's kill. That's what him. made. That's what made me cool with everything. Once he didn't die from that, because if he would have died like that, then yeah. I would have been like. Marvel's nah, good at cu- killing. Kind of they good at killing. They fucking what? They villains the first time we meet them. Yeah. It's like, bro, why are you killing arch enemies or main people that goes in long storylines in the comics right. the first time we meet them? What it's I, just stupid. What I found was crazy. Nobody in the whole fucking world make they motherfucking way in the Wakanda and this nigga is gonna swim under the water. Water gives you that loophole, man. You know what I'm saying? Just hit that bitch. Flew in. But <laughs> we go ahead and get him back over here. We got anything else on that? I'm good. That nigga named Missouri. Bro, hold on. Nah, I got I got something that Isaiah didn't like. I don't like that shit. T'Challa Jr. That nigga named Missouri. He Zuri. said, I am the son. He said, I am T'Challa Jr. Son said, of Prince T'Challa. That nigga said, he said, Toussaint's my Haitian name. Cool, that's fine. All right, cool. I fucks with that. Toussaint can be your Haitian name. That's cool. What's your Wakanda name, little nigga? Should be Azuri, bitch. Your name better be Azuri, motherfucker. Tatala. Prince of King Tatala. No, bitch, your name is Azuri, and her name is really Storm. I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. That nigga. This is where he gets on his fanboy shit. I do, because if you. I, I get what they trying to do. I do. You trying to replace T'Challa with his son in the best way possible. And maybe that T'Challa can get with the new Storm and Storm's gonna be young and some extra shit. For sure. Ah, cool. But I just feel that this movie that the is still too is much that, forced. I, I think that this, it's still, think it's this, I still <laughs> feel the movie is forced. Of course, bro. Now, I have to give it his leeway for what they had to deal with. Fine. But at the same time, y'all could have just held out. Like Archie said, bro. Until it was okay to recast. They wrote this motherfucker with T'Challa in that bitch. So keep that so bitch with T'Challa in that died. bitch. No. They so they had it. to go around and remake T'Challa the whole, was supposed rewrite to the whole thing. fucking shit. They didn't have to. But they, bro, they needed that shit. They needed to bring that shit out. No, but they didn't have to rewrite it. You just go get another nigga. Sucks to say it like that. He stand on that one. He ain't but But you anything. know what? The first one made it to where could nobody else gonna do that shit. Why? Because the food Why? was harassing. That's what the fuck. No. This is Quint this is what would make Quentin Tarantino right. We didn't come to see the motherfucking what's called, we came to see the this. Now granted I get it everybody crying about the actor, but at the same fucking time, I'm another trying say, actor trying to say can she play could've, it. She could have made the shit and just gave it to somebody else. No. We put another nigga in there, and we have another Tachilla. All right, well, let's pull up, though, because I don't want to keep this nigga standing over here too Tachilla. long. Let's get put Kevin back Put another over, over there. Bro, oh, uh, broski? He hey, don't man. care. Why his name is Tachilla, bro? Tachilla dies. Tachilla. His name's Tachilla, bro. Tachilla yeah. dies. Look at thick box for you. All right, but that, uh, we got anything else, Marvel, though? Oh, nah, that everything. was all, Marvel. That was everything? All right, pull up. Now, is Mariah Carey the queen of Christmas? Fucking right, yo. I'm gonna say yeah. That nigga said yeah, bro. That's a, bro. She makes so much money this time of year, all off right. of one fucking song. So right. and she got fucking shows and movies and shit, bro. Like she got her own fucking Netflix show. I think it'll be out. And shit. So Mariah Carey went and applied to get the copyright Queen of Christmas. You would not have bitch ass. Nope, cannot do it. I mean. They said that Christmas is a season of giving, not the season of taking. And it's wrong for an individual to attempt to own or monopolize a nickname like Queen of Christmas for the purpose of abject materialism. I agree. That's correct. I agree. Hungry Ho. That's racist. Now, granted, they're going to let somebody else do it that's not of the uh, color persuasion. But I ain't going to lie. All that type of shit, why the fuck... 
Like why? Watch it be Meg Mrs. Trainer. Claus, what? Mrs. Claus. I ain't gonna lie. Santa. If they can, if if somebody uh, can uh, copyright and trademark Juneteenth, she can do it for fucking uh, Queen of Christmas. I think she I'm can. all for it. I'm all for it. If they can do it for Juneteenth, she can do it for I Queen give her of the Christmas. Card. Yep. Yeah. Cause all I want for Christmas is, is you. you. Baby, I said, Okay, so I guess the next turn of events I'd have with that would, if they have a, you know, a holiday celebrity death match versus Mariah Carey. What do you mean? DMX. I, I throw Gucci Mane up against her. I don't care. D- DMX is Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Say what? Very shiny nose. <laughs> <laughs> and he never saw him. What? You would even say he glows. He glows. That nigga, that shit. Hold on. Uh, that's yeah, funny bro. that we just all freaked out that. Because y'all knew exactly how to fuck up. And our first two ad libs was the exact right. same. Right, boy. Because <laughs> uh, that's a fucking classic. Uh, it's a goddamn man. classic. Isn't okay. Namor a submariner? Yeah, 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 yeah,
Stewart. Lewis. Who you got? Stewart or Remy, or Remy from Ratatouille? Y'all think Stuart Little with bitch just because he wearing a sweater. He about to be Remy ass. All right, let's go through some yeah, of these little, these little colors. Little. Like for real, bro. I they say Remy, nigga, up. I hate this debate. He's a street rat. He would absolutely clobber Stuart Fuck with his man. bare hands. Stuart uh, hasn't uh, worked for... Just because this is what got me. You was okay with the rat street rat part until you say Stuart hasn't worked for anything in his life. Remy no struggle. Stuart is a little bitch. Nigga, did you not see any of them fucking movies, bro? And even the animated movie, I think Stuart Little 3, when they took that my nigga to the fucking campfire and shit, my nigga out there in the fucking fighting bobcats, nigga. You can't tell me that little fucking Remy ass who fucking fat ass got fucking got by some motherfuckers. He came up quick. I'm not gonna lie when you first Remy said Remy. Remy came up quick. He a hustler, but he ain't no fighter. I no, and he meant. found that kitchen quick than a bitch. That's bro. what I'm saying, bro. He, he, nigga, he had a little ghost that walked him to and shit. And why nigga, just because on. he in the street? That don't mean he nigga had to run. Shit. Nigga Stewart had to run. Nigga Stewart had to run from hawks. Nigga Stewart had to go through cats. Nigga Stewart flew a plane. Stewart had to be on the fucking barge. He had to go fight a bobcat. Nigga, that shit ain't even a fucking question, bro. My nigga Stuart, I and, if I, about and Remy, not only that, my nigga Stuart Little, the only motherfucking, my nigga, the only so rodent like, I know, hey, Stuart Little, little the only rodent I know hey. that was riding around in a whip that I wish I had, and that bitch was cleaning the bitch. That and you mean to tell nigga with it's a RC car, car. Yeah, bitch? Who that hoe was nasty? Hey, look, look. And then not only that, if that nigga could afford that whip, you mean to tell me that nigga couldn't afford no classes? Hey, that nigga about to USC the fuck out of here. Check this out, check this out, check this out, check this out. They say people really think a rat with cooking skills can go toe to toe with a World War II oh, vet who probably <laughs> a makeshift plane. Bro, I like, said, and lived in the house with yeah, the enemy, bro. Come on now, bro. He shared the same roof with my bro. Come on now. Y'all better get off. Stuart Little ain't no bitch, bro. Stuart Little ain't no bitch, bro. Let's throw another rat into the mix. Jerry had nothing but the fight. Oh, fuck. Let's throw another rat into the mix. Jerry had nothing but the fight. Oh, fuck. Damn. Jerry waxing ass. Yeah, Jerry about to. Hey, y'all thought that shit was sweet? Y'all thought that shit was sweet? Hey, Jerry about to come in there and Debo the fuck out that bitch. Y'all you thought know that what? shit, nigga. I hey. feel like Jerry OP, you gotta put that little gray nigga from, little, from France up in that bitch. Bro, that, that, that makes sense. You brought him up. <laughs> right. hey, I'm glad you brought him up. My nigga Jerry out here training nah, niggas nah, to nah, be nah, savages, hey, bro. Hey, nah, nah, nah. Niggas, hey. they send, they about, send nah, them nah, to nah, Jerry nah. when they want to train nah, you nah, on nah, how nah, to nah, do nah, this, bro. Look, what about Jerry Kenfolk, though? Okay, see, that's the thing. My nigga, see, my nigga got Kenfolk, bro. He D. He did. Y'all don't know who I'm talking about. about that, Jerry Kim. It's in his blood. Know. And yeah, that's the thing. They say, this got... nigga, they say he folded three cats like it was nothing. He all for the Bruh, smoke. And like... pulled the other one out by the tail, fam. Dragged nah, come literally on, bitch. Dragged you getting this shit, too. Come on now. You know, if J and Jerry done already showed us his skills. He didn't even need Kim folk to show up for us to even get there. But then once family showed up, you like, yeah, damn, hey, his look, bloodline look, deep. Hey, not fucking with him, You know what's crazy? Remy, the only rat. In the motherfucking okay. mix, and he the only nigga we know getting walked. Like that's what fucking all the him? mice is running this nigga out this hoe, bro. Right, seriously, you said another name for him, Who? for Remy, because when y'all first asked me the question. I thought it was Stuart Little versus Remy Ma. Right, right, and I was like, well, nigga, that ain't no motherfucking contest. All right. It's, I, I mean, it is 10. It's, two, it's an hour past his time. So he's made it a little bit longer than he should. <laughs> it's, it, he's way past the time he yeah. should be falling out. So we good. Yeah, he in there. Damn, we rolling today. Yeah, but shit, we actually, we actually got one. We actually got one more, though. So we right on time. Thank God. Um, Pick a team, Hip Hop Edition. Oh, this the last one. Why did my boy sound like in hip hop edition? EA Sports. Team A. Come on, Kenny Blink and shit. Team A. <laughs> and guess what? We we picking years from these. Not we not picking years, but you get a year. Like a so we decade, we getting a specific huh? character, like as in, you know what I'm saying, baby. Woo, woo. Choose your character. Nineteen ninety this is Team A. Team A. Nineteen ninety four Biggie. Juicy. Two thousand Eminem. Oh, he's, oh, he go, I am whatever you say Ooh. I am. 2003, 50 Cent. Oh, shit, in the club. 2015, Drake. Ooh, what? I think that's right before Hotline Bling, if I'm not mistaken. No, nah, fuck's that. Hotline Bling it up. <laughs> okay. 2020, Lil Baby. So that's the right before Corona. That's when he did his little... Uh, his little Protesting. Robot. Baby, yeah. Yeah. Team B. 1996, Tupac. All eyes on me. 2000, 
2008, Lil Wayne. Ooh, that's a, that's a good oh, year. Damn. That's like wine. That's a good year. Yeah, that was that's a good year, you know, Wayne. Right he's there. He's one of the only artists that doesn't have, hasn't had over a billion streams. Like, Lil Wayne. That's because we do that shit. Uh, 2010. I'm telling y'all, it's the fatigue from dropping all those fucking men. I'm telling that, y'all. But uh, it's also, bro, they don't count shit that you download. So if you have something downloaded on your phone, you listening to out of a file. We don't yeah, nobody. Know. That's what I'm saying. So it's like niggas are straight jamming they shit over and over on burnt CDs that they made. They don't get count for that. So it's like you can never truly compare niggas shit like that. Fuck tangents. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. 2010 Kanye West. 2015 I would say Future. Than Kanye West. That made you already lost me on that one. I'm already out. 2015 Future. 2020 Young Boy. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, yeah, Young still Boy. Winning. But yeah. Young Boy might be Lil Baby. Cool. They chose the wrong Kanye. I would prefer Future to Drake. But that Kanye can't do shit against that 50 Cent. Yeah. Bro, ain't that the year that Kanye fucking walked 50 Cent when they both had their nah, little stand-up? Nah, nah, that wasn't it. That was after. Either way. He actually, Kanye lost. Either way, it doesn't matter. 2010 Kanye no, can't do shit right, with 2003 Kanye 50 Cent. Kanye walked 50 Cent. Listen, 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 2010 Kanye can't do shit with 2003 50 Cent. Nobody know. ever can do shit with 2003 50 Cent. Yeah, or 2005. It's really, just written, nigga. Fucking untouchable. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I mean, bro, but, bro, but, right. man, Kanye. and all that shit, nigga, Kanye. bitch, get in my car. Like, 2000, right, nigga, 2000 man. Eminem, 2008 Lil Wayne. Would be a that'd be a, that'd that'd be be a, a fight. Be, yeah. <laughs> and then 1994 Biggie and 1996 Tupac. Bro, A A is still winning for me. That's the classic fight for everything. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. A A has more. All right, so drop that hole on a two v two. Is there a C? Do a two v do the two v two. Is there a C? No one. It's Biggie and who else? Na- it is? 1994 Biggie, 2003 50 Cent. We going with the strongest because Eminem cool, but we going we going with the strongest. So Biggie and 50 Cent. Would be versus Pac and Wayne. Pac and Wayne would win. Damn, no way. That's really a. Pac versus Wayne? No, nah, Pac and Wayne, Pac and nah, Wayne versus Biggie and 50. I feel like, bro, bro, because, bro, oh my God, I cannot believe I'm about to, oh my fucking God. I had to God. say. Nah, bro. Nah, he Pac, gonna, Biggie and 50 about Biggie to get y'all. 50. Bro, that shit is about to be. Nasty. That's a nasty one. Because as the years went on, bro, as much as we love Tupac, bro, he's another one where it's been cool and trendy to, like, niggas been, like, disrespecting his shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas but ain't they rocking sh- with his shit as they, much but, as they Yeah, but to. what they what they choose to do because what's trendy and what's fact is what's fact, nigga. When you play a Pac song, it's almost like playing a Michael Jackson song, nigga. You not know. You're you, not I give you that. You're not lying. You know what I'm saying? It don't lying. matter what you're you not. think you but talking about, nigga. Say, he gonna make you be in that bitch like, also, oh, I want to talk It depends on the person, like, though, because some people pick sides with that. That is, yeah, now you right. Some people like, I, didn't, I ain't fuck with Pac like that. I only fuck with Biggie. That is a, that is a, So that it is, a, you got to worry about that aspect, too, though. 50 gonna cross both sides. I agree. And that's gonna be And that's, that's why I said nasty. 50 and Biggie. Now, if that was Eminem and Wayne or Eminem and Pop, that'd be a tough one. No, nah, I mean, Eminem was Eminem on Biggie's and, side, so it'd be Eminem. Yeah, Eminem. I was gonna say, okay, yeah. So okay, so never mind. Versus right. Pac and Wayne. That would have been an easier fight for Pac and Wayne, though. That, that, two, that 50 cent is what Bro, holds that. That, that 50 cent is a. Oh. That's like a. You that's a really, trunk. That's, 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 that's like a it super really slip. It really is, like, bro. Because you, bro. Yeah. Between <laughs> two, the, bro, because between 2000, between 2000. He was bullying between niggas, bro. Between 2002, even though it popped in 2003, between 2002 and 2005. You could not drop shit with him or G Unit drop any fucking thing, bro. G Unit. That's the nigga that ended careers for real, bro. Like, for real, bro. <laughs> Like, that nigga, like, Fat Joe and them, like, Fat Joe outlasted his shit. Jada Kiss and them outlasted their shit. Let barely, the though. De- de- no, J- Jada outlasted J- Fat Joe barely, bro, because honestly, you only think of a few songs from him. No, he can no. only perform Fat a Joe, few because until he no, came no, back with Remy Ma. That's, that's because Fat Joe, Fat, that's because Fat Joe is like, okay, Snoop Dogg and Ice-T is tier one when you talk about rappers who done gone mainstream celebrities. 
like the rock and shit, Fat Joe is like tier three. And is that not? I say I'm tier two. Not tier two. But tier would that three. not be because of Fifty Cent? Huh? Would yeah, that not be? Would that not be in like dude yes, two? That yes. would be that. He's tier three because of Fifty Cent. Right? Yeah, I'll yes. say he's tier two because of Fifty Cent. He would. I, I feel like he would have been in tier one. But I feel like there's a lot of times where when Fat Joe speaks, the only people Fat Joe's not one of those people where when he speaks, everybody just listen and listen He is building it back up now with this he's podcast like, and shit. Yeah. That, that's the thing. He's gone into the media thing, so he's doing things where he be bringing on cameras for people in the game, like a motherfucker like me. When Fat Joe speak. Yes, I'm gonna take in what he's okay, saying. Okay, you gonna are you, you gonna, gonna watch Kwali Kwali's podcast or you gonna watch Fat Joe's? Podcast? I'm watching Talib Kwali. You got me right. fucked that's up. That's that's a that's a, <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a that's a region that's a region thing though. That just depends on the type of like you know what I'm saying music and person you are gonna go to. You see what no, I'm I feel like because cause I'm saying like I like Tal- I like his podcast. I like the questions. I like the setup. Hip hop, true hip hop, going Talib Kwali. Mainstream wanna be going Fat Joe. I okay, hate to so say what, it, but right, so what if I gave you most deaf and Fat Joe? Then that's better. Probably still most deaf. His shit would be like when you going like podcast and what they talk about and shit. Why it seems like Fat Joe is I ain't selling out would be the wrong word, but I can't find a better one. It's like he's doing more of the mainstream shit, trying to get the like what's popping and trendy and shit. I, going. I will say though, also what I do he has wonder, good shit. He he's he is one of the ones though. I do applaud him for. Keeping the old school shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm so people don't, you know what I'm he saying? He do keep his people, though. The ones that, that, that was like, in his class and doing shit like that, he do keep like that shit the, up. Like, Fat Joe, yeah. like, the fact that he done brought, like, on his podcast and shit, like I said, he done brought on KRS one, the LL Cool Right, Days right. So he, do, like he, does, he does do that. To kind of, because you sit back and there'll be a lot of times where, like, I know homie here like to say history don't matter and shit, but you got some people who they be thinking that they be doing new shit. Like, oh, this shit ain't never been done, right. and they coming up with new shit. And then you hear from these old heads and shit, the pod. and you like, hey, this is the mentality been like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like motherfuckers ain't learned anything. They, you ain't doing nothing new. Motherfuckers just kind of forgot about it for a while, and you just done brought it back to the surface. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so you sit back and listen, and you be like, damn, these old motherfuckers, bro, on But you know shit. what's funny? Niggas like that want, me, want they credit when it's like, fam, we wasn't even thinking about you when we did this shit, though. I give you that. They, you look bad when any old head look bad when you going to reach for cred off a of young nigga. That has never worked, especially in hip hop. Especially in hip hop. Maybe you can do that shit in acting, R and B. Try to out sing a motherfucker, some shit like that. In hip hop, that is an automatic L when the OG it's tries to go and the, tries to go tries to go at the young head. You know what I'm saying? And initiate that shit, especially when it's kind of like, bro. Let's say if Wayne went at. If Wayne went at Soldier Boy, it's like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? Right. Like, why are you even like you, you, you leaps and bounds? Ba- like, like, why are you even, exactly, bro? Like, you leaps and bounds right. above this motherfucker. Like, you that you got to do, what playing field? Like, step right the fuck over that shit, you know? But yeah, that's what that is. But you hey, know what's crazy? Go ahead. Niggas don't know this, but Soldier Boy got some cold ass beats because he did like I want. I don't know which one it was. He did like most of Wayne's "I Am Not a Human Being" too. Nigga, that nigga did some of the code. Like, some hits you would never know. You didn't think? Soldier Boy probably, like, he on some of the old, like, like hits. I would give you know, from bro. the time he dropped when his crank that shit all the way up until nigga, 2010, 2011. Nigga, if you hear he was Soldier on, the on the Beat, that's him. So if you ever hear Soldier on the Beat, and you hear that shit, that's his shit. Matter of fact, I think he did some shit with Dirk and them coming up too. Yeah, that, nigga, that's my point. So it's like niggas be trying to say shit and try to shit on niggas. It's like I'm like, fam, y'all gonna have to relax sometimes. Nah, like, he talk a lot. Yeah, he, you right. You can get him if you want to get nah, him. But he talk too much, but nigga, he stamped. He do his shit. But at the same time, no, he can, that nigga can't. When it comes to actually like bars and on you know, some shit like that. No, no, yeah, yeah, no. You can't talk about it. That's, but that's, that's, that's yeah. But now nah, work ethic and different different shit like nah, nigga moves not, and shit like that. Shit. And shit, even his beats. He would have an argument when niggas come into like shit and verses and like beats and shit and shit like that. Oh nah, he could. He, he, he would gonna, definitely have an he, argument. He gonna have to struggle to pull twenty. I tell you that he's gonna have to struggle to pull twenty. I don't. I don't. No, know, and, no, and, well, no, what I'm, I'm not mean, saying with like the best of the best. No, what I'm saying is, is that oh, he don't have too much in his catalog. I, yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, he got a lot of good shit together. Yeah. He gonna have to fucking scrounge around. On some shit. I get I mean, what you're saying. I get and you. that's just credit where it's due. You know what I'm saying on it. But uh, right. hey, 
I know it's getting out of there. Some of y'all probably got some they cooking shit. We ain't, ain't sipping on hood. shit. Thanksgiving they say sipping. Soldier ain't from the hood. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, the fuck we, off of me, fuck, bitch. Fuck what we sipping on though. Stuck right. that nigga. <laughs> it's Thanksgiving. Who is this purple eating. gun at? We know what we sipping on this week. You Turkey. Right. Ham. Oh. Uh, dressing. Like beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Roll uh, your uh, name, bitch. Uh, give me that motherfucker. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin one. Which one? Oh, he say, I got collard, <laughs> green, collard greens, cornbread, turkey. What? Man, what? No, he says, green beans. What? Corn on the cob. I don't what? Find a video. <laughs> oh, that bitch was funny as hell. Hey, y'all, hey, if y'all can save me a portion, bring me a plate, man. Just don't have no fucking raisins in that shit. Real talk. <laughs> you don't want to see no purple. No purple. I, don't, I like my grapes. Here it is. I got juicy. juicy. I don't like them bitches dried up. Man. I got, I got. Hold on, hold on. Let me stop the music because we got to be good. Get that up. Green beans. That's what we got. Mashed potatoes. That's what we got. Extra gravy. Some corn on the cob. And some more green beans. Green beans. And some more green beans. Oh, you, gotta play, you gotta play the song. <laughs> it is a song version. Green beans. Oh, that's how we gonna go out. Green beans. Mashed potatoes. Extra gravy. Extra gravy. Green beans. Mashed potatoes. Extra gravy. Hey, I'll let it, there we go. Make sure y'all rock with us on YouTube. And if y'all watching on YouTube, come sit with us on the Facebook. Make sure y'all hit that like and that share, pull up. DTKA, pull up them cups. Let them know about us. Some more green beans. Bars, bitch. What? 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 Looking at that shit on stream is gonna be crazy. How <laughs> come we're dipping in the <laughs> Y'all later, y'all. Y'all later. Y'all. Y'all later. Y'all. Y'all later. Y'all. 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 Y